It's my morning show. Wake the hell up. Wake the hell up. Put your girl Bonnie Marcano. Wake up. It's Monday from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Wake up. Wake the hell up. Real radio. It's the things that you want to hear. Uncensored. Uncut. Oh, I just realized. Unfiltered. Gotta pin the comments. Most important, though, it's real. Wake the hell up with me, you grow Bonnie Mercado. I make radio real again. Mainstream to underground. So make sure you're tuning in. And wake the hell up. <laughs> Wait the hell up in the morning. Don't be a snooze in your alarm. Turn the volume up with no radio. And you can tune in in the morning. What you doing in the morning? If you been tuned in in the morning, what she doing? I'm assuming you just ruined your morning. Morning, listen, 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 listen
And then for you people in the late afternoon too, we might have to forget that one, right? Good, good late afternoon. <laughs> You're just laughing your ass over here. Well, you already know that's what we do here. Okay. Now let's see, because you guys are my the geniuses of the world here. Uh, what is something that you guys will have no clue whatsoever that I'm going to find? What's it going to be? I know one thing. I do need to turn that down right there. Otherwise, we already know things are going to start opening on my phone. It's the ghost that takes over Bonnie's phone. <laughs> and what'd you say, JB? You're like, I cheated on the way and I got on the bus and walked back to my Nana's and pop out. Well, you know what? That's not so much cheating. It's called you got tired or it's cold out there. And you're like, I'm jumping on the bus. You were entitled to do that. Unless you told somebody, I am definitely going to um, walk the whole time I got this five miles. If you did that, then it's cheating. But the fact that you change your mind, we're allowed to change our minds. You thought about it and you started walking and said, yeah, no, I'm definitely jumping on the bus for a little bit. Okay. What is it going to be, guys? What is something you guys have no clue whatsoever? Now, remember, you can always throw in a topic and I can always find stuff on that. Again, still stuff that you would not know. This is the challenge, man. This is why it's hard sometimes. So you gotta give me gotta give me a moment of silence. <laughs> and Bella, she came in for the pick and then ran away as she usually does. And then she ran back over here where the music was playing and she was just kind of like going after my feet. Like letting me know she was there, but not coming back on camera. You're like, I'm 28. I can walk all day if I wanted to. Yes, you can. But for some reason you picked, I don't want to walk anymore. Okay, let's see. Bella, are you coming back? Hey, Jingle Bells. Come here, come here. Well, come here. She's like, no, I just want to tease you. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. What are we going to find, Bella? Huh? What are we going to find? What? What? She likes this side better. I don't know. Why do you like this side better? Why is this side like the dominant side you like so much? Come on. Is it because I always call you on this side? Do you want to come up? Come on, say hello. Ow! We can do that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. She was like, no, I just want to just whistle a little bit. Hmm. Let's see. What are we going to find here? Looking, looking, looking. Hmm. What's it going to be, guys? What am I going to find? that you guys don't know. And you have been curious all throughout the weekend. The challenge is on. All right, let's see. Hmm, how about... Um, okay, how about this one? According to this place on the internet, oh, and as I say that, keep in mind, guys, that um, sometimes there might be other answers to when I find it in a little bit, because I'm only going to one place on the internet, so there could be more research with some of these questions, okay? And holding that thought in your brain, remember, the first thing that pops in your brain, what do you think? Japan is suffering from what? Japan is suffering from what? What do you think it is? And specifically, it started 2018 is where this problem arised. All right. Now, if I click any more, then yeah, then I don't want to see the answer because then that would be cheating. And Kev Gill, hello. You're like coronavirus. I know. That's what we like think in our brains. I thought that right away too. And it's in your head until you heard 2018. And good morning, Nightbot, right? So now you're like, 
hmm, what is it? So what has Japan been suffering from since 2018? What do you think it is? I'm thinking, first thing that popped in my brain, besides the other one just now popped in my brain, was peach and raspberry tea. <laughs> Probably because it is that time to take a sip again. Hydration. Cheers to all. Mm. A peach and raspberry flavor. And looks like you're a regular here. Are you, Kev Gill? You kind of are. And Bradley, good morning to you. You already know what thumbs up go Steelers. And it looks like our game is going to be played tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow night football. I can't. Wait, God, we've been waiting since Thursday. Talk about putting suspense on us. And just so if you guys didn't know, the Steelers, the Pittsburgh Steelers, are the only team that's undefeated, and we're going for our 11-0. and 0, So it's a big deal. And what would you say, Kev Gillies? Like, if anyone wants to follow me, I'm on IG, Kevin John Gilbert. I'm here. Here it is. All right. I, I feel like... Did we do this before? Because if not, when I get to that point in the show, when I say I creep on you, put that again. And you might just have us creep on your Instagram. We might pick a picture too. be like, hmm, we're going to look at this one. <laughs> All right. But now think about Japan. Think about there is something for the past two years that they have been suffering. What have they been suffering from since 2018? You don't really use it anymore? No. You know what? To be honest, I really feel like a lot of people just do the stories now. I'm definitely guilty of this. I used to do Instagram a while ago, but then it was like, you know how they do the updates and then it's different and then you wind up doing another social media and it's like you can't keep up with all of them. It's like pick one, pick one. So I feel like I don't really post pictures on Instagram anymore. I do more of stories, which I feel like it's a story. So it's like, it's more active, you know, it's like, this is what's happening right now versus just a picture. But I do, it's been a while, I do have to post something. <laughs> and it's fine, it's public, you're like, I'm not hiding. You do realize we can just look it up. We can just look it up. But the point is, Kev Gill, if you do, then that would be cheating. So don't look it up. Unless you're going to put in an answer and then look it up and not tell anybody, then you can do that. But you got to like, Keep it closed. Actually, keep it closed. <laughs> no telling the answer. But what do you think? I know, and it's so random, right? I love finding these random facts that you guys have no clue. I feel so proud, especially been in getting in the week. This is a good one, man. <laughs> it literally was like the second page I went on. I was like, boom, yes, we got this. All right. So what do you think, guys? What do you think? Remember, two years ago, looking at 2018, specifically in a place called Japan, they have been suffering from something. What do you think they have been suffering from? And Rams did not win yesterday. They didn't do it. But you know what? Do, do you know who, who didn't win yesterday? Buccaneers! They lost again, Brady. boo hoo hoo, -hoo. <laughs> And Dane, good morning to you. You already know Pittsburgh Steelers play tomorrow night on NBC at 8 p.m. That's Eastern time. So for us here at Las Vegas, Nevada on that West Coast time, Pacific Standard Time, guys, it's going to be 5 p.m. I know. I'm like, I I'm happy because then I was thinking if it's a morning game, then I'd really have to cut you guys short. So I'm happy it's at night. But I'm like, why couldn't it be like 3 o'clock? <laughs> You know, you got to be picky about something. I'm just like, why does it have to be at five, man? Why can't it be three o'clock? Oh, because usually like games, that's usually like the game time. And it's exciting because they never got to play for the Thursday night prime time football. So now they're going to do it for Tuesday night prime time. Not usually used to a Tuesday, but that's okay. You're too lazy to look it up. Well, that's good. Not so much for being lazy, but yes, when it is, you know, early in the morning, we tend to be a little bit lazier than usual, and you're allowed. Amal, good morning to you, sweetie. All right. And what'd you say, Kev? You said, so lazy, my brother is typing whenever I say to him. Well, there you go. 
<laughs> he knows how to communicate with you. It's like, oh, it's too early in the morning. We're just going to text here. That's all we're going to do. That's right, Dane. Can you see it? I can see it. 11 and 0 tomorrow. Here we go. All oh, those rappers are going to be destroyed for making us wait so long to destroy them. Don't you agree? All right. But now back to our first week, the hell up back to the day, talking about a place far, far, far away called Japan. Something in Japan happened in 2018 and it just kept going. It was like they're suffering out there because of this. And also it says there's a shortage. Okay. And that wouldn't be cheating because I'd have to pull down the line. So a shortage. So what does, what does Jet, <laughs> I can't even say the word. What does Japan have and continue to have since 2018, a shortage of? Shits more rat birds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to explain them. But I did hear that uh, Lamar, they're saying he's completely out. So like, did I hear my right information? Does that mean like he is out? Like it's official. He is out of the game this Tuesday. <laughs> and it's nice because it gave us time to recuperate. So we got some of our guys back. So that's how we have to look at it. Everything happened for a reason. It's a win-win situation on us. It's never going to be a bad situation for the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially because we got our team in check. Yes, it's teamwork. And I love that. Everything I saw Tomlin saying from Big Ben to say, they're so about teamwork. You can see the team. You can see the spirit of the team. There is no just a one-man this. Because even when they were asking Tomlin the other day, and then he was like, it's not just one man. And I was like, yes, would you tell the media? It's not just about one guy. Team, team, team. You need a team to make that work. You need a team to get those more undefeateds. You need a team to go all the way to the Super Bowl. Sorry, I was getting caught up in a moment. <laughs> all right, but let's think again. Japan, something that there can be a shortage of. What could there be a shortage of Japan for the past two years? I'm going to go with, I don't know. It just popped in my brain, but I was thinking of an umbrella. Maybe there's shortage of their umbrellas out there. I don't know. And you said, yeah, RG3 start tomorrow for the rat birds, right? You know, I'm just, I'm like smiling. We're not getting too cocky, but it just, it feels good. <laughs> and Floyd, well, good morning to you, sweetie. Hello, hello. All right, not to put anybody in the spot or anything, and don't ever feel like you're on the spot. We have fun here. There's never a wrong answer, because as long as you put something in the chat, you're going to be right. So what do you think? In 2018, it started for Japan that there was a shortage of what? What do you think there was a shortage of? Mustard Seed Productions. Good morning. Elliot, Linda, big shout out. I see you. Yes, a happy, healthy holiday Monday to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kev Gill, really? You think they're having a problem out there in Japan with illegal, with illegal drugs, specifically cocaine? You know what? I have to tell you, if there is a shortage, that would be a good thing. Because who the hell would want, who would the hell want? illegal drugs in their place anyway, just causes problems. So that would actually be a good thing. Okay, good answer. And Sean, good morning to you. Hello, hello. Okay, guys, remember, we're talking about Japan and being something that they're short of since two years ago. Do you know what mustard seed production? I was literally, that was my next answer. I was like, well, maybe rice. But don't you think we would have heard of that? It wouldn't have just been like, I'm finding this out now. I feel like that would have been like, oh my God, can you believe this? Because I feel like that is like a big part of their delicacy, their human, their diet. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason that didn't come out, right? So it could very well be. We just maybe didn't hear about it. And Chiefs won yesterday. Yes, they did. And, and I can't say like, it's like, okay, they won. But soon they're going to have to lose because when we go in those playoffs, Chiefs, you're going down. <laughs> All right. What else do you guys think? Great answers, by the way. Remember, we don't think about these too hard. 
But about two years ago, specifically 2018, Japan was having a shortage of what? What do you think it was? And then, I don't know, because we're not going to cheat here and see any more detail, but I just wanted to see... No, unless I pull the link down. I'm wondering if it says would they still have one or did it just start in 2008 and then they fixed the problem? Haha. Uh -huh. We'll find out shortly. Oh, deaths. So you think they had a shortage of people dying or killing people? So meaning like um, in 2018, it went down. They weren't having as much deaths as they were. That could be the case. They were having a shortage of their death pole, which is another thing. That's a good thing. That wasn't you, Kev Gill. Well, for this, for this actual question, I mean, it, it kind of goes, it kind of fits. So you don't have to worry about that. Is it your brother? Is he typing for you? People, people, people. Tell him to get his own account. <laughs> yes, Dean. He is a Chiefs fan, but not like a diehard, like he's crazy. He has to watch every game. He just really does like that team. But it's not like he's like going out there and buying stuff. It's not like we have Chiefs stuff in the house. The only one we got to deal with is we have some Viking stuff. <laughs> but that's okay. Money, no pocket, change in Japan. You know what? Well, there's such a change problem here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Maybe it started in Japan in 2018. You could be right, Bradley. Great answer. Okay. Jeffrey's like NASCAR 2021. That's what's in my brain right now. Are you excited? All right. And let's see. Steelers are 10 point favorite tomorrow, and ESPN has his up 65% chance to win tonight. Uh, you, you mean tomorrow night? <laughs> but technically, in some places around the world, it could be tonight. All right. But I know we're a favorite. But aren't you still like they're still the way they talk? They still have not give us, given us our respect. Like I'm getting so irritated, still hearing about Brady and all the other stuff, except, hey, by the way, the Pittsburgh Steelers have lost their bye week, have been going through so much shit this season, and they're still undefeated. Can we hear that a little bit? Just just a little bit. You got control here again? Okay, Capgale. Make sure. Now, I say violence isn't the answer, but when they go to get your keyboard again, go whack. <laughs> but not that hard, so then it won't be violence is the answer. Just like, get your own keyboard. <laughs> All right. Well, what else do you guys think? What's another answer? Do you think that since 2018 in a place called Japan, there was a shortage and still could be, I'm not sure about that yet, could still be a shortage of what? I don't know. I just thought about it probably because we just talked about a keyboard or something and I thought about my charger because I'm going to remember to charge my phone. Ta-da! <laughs> when it's not in use. So with that being said, I'm thinking there was a short on chargers. And specifically iPhone chargers. Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Remember, whatever you're thinking of. Thank God he's gone. Is he like, you know how that's like your siblings? Like, you love them so much. It's like a love-hate relationship. You love them and then you're like, oh my God, I can't stand you. But then when they're not there, you're like, oh, I miss them so much. They're annoying asses. <laughs> How is my day been? My day has been amazing. Thank you for asking, but you should already know. When you guys are here and I hit that live button and I pop on in, how can I not be anything but having a great day with all of you? Come on now. I woke up another day. I'm alive. I'm a breathing. So it's a good day. Steelers basically got a bye week before tomorrow night game. Yeah, but not really. It's not like an official one. It's been like a bunch of, you're going to play. Now you're not going to play. Because it really pissed me off was on Thanksgiving because they really only had, 
they gave him like one day and then like, oh yeah, now we're going to postpone the game. Like they had all the time in the world to postpone it. And now they're going to postpone it that last minute. So at least for the Sunday game that they told us on Fridays, so that wasn't too bad, but still we've been getting the short end of the stick, man. And it's not cool. And hang on. Good morning to you. You said in India, your normal money you get for a job is 1000 to 2000 It doesn't sound that bad. You doing YouTuber as living or a hobby? Um, Well, pretty much a living with a mix of a hobby. Because before the crazy pandemic happened, I was on the radio doing you guys are only the VIP access into the show. And now that the whole entertainment business is pretty closed down... We're just focusing because you know what? You have to look at it like this. We never thought in a million years this would happen, right? So it's like we're changing a lot of things we do and we also have to look out for God forbid anything else. It's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I know what I love to do is make people happy and stay in that happy mode. And especially with the year that our family has had, man, we got to keep a smile on our face and we can't let anything ruin that. We're still alive. We're breathing. So let's make the best of it. Steelers were supposed to play yesterday. Night. I know, Dane. I know. Tell me about it. What is Sunday? I was like, no Steelers football. I mean, there was other games. But again, no Steelers football. <laughs> and your salary for fast food is $200. That's actually, I mean, that's that's really like a lot for fast food. I'm just saying. Are they saying all you can have is fast food? So you're saying you get a job and they say you're only allowed a $200 limit, but you must eat fast food. <laughs> yes, Kev Gill. If you put my name in Google, you will see. I've actually been in this business for a while. And Jeffrey, yes, you know it goes. Steelers. We really miss unfiltered. I know. And you know what? Um, with this whole pandemic, how everything is going, I already said, because I'm still, like I said, guys, I'm not 100% back to my normal, normal self, which means running a board and doing all that stuff. I don't have all the energy to do it just yet, but keyword just yet. So I already, I was already saying, I'm, I'm thinking definitely, I'm hoping before the new year or no, it's probably not before the new year, but right after the new year. We will figure it out, but it is going to be remote. It is going to be remote because still what's going on out here in the world, the pandemic and stuff. So we are going to do remote. So I am going to have the headphones on shortly, but not just yet. So we are going to do remote. Okay. I got you guys. I got you guys. Yes, Kev Gill. Surprise. <laughs> And what did you say, Dane? You said no James Conner. Tomorrow, Benny Snell Jr. start tomorrow night. That's okay. But they, they didn't say again. Did they say that Conner tested positive again? Or did they say they just, for protocol, he's on the COVID list? So we never know. We might get shocked and say, boom, he's going to play. But but I'm proud of Benny, too. Benny Benny's good. We got some good players on our team. We're going to be good. We are. All right. So any more guesses, any more clues that are floating in your brain right now that you think for a wake the hell up fact? What are you thinking? First wake the hell up fact of the day, talking about Japan. Since 2018, there was a shortage of what? And Jacob, well, good morning to you. Right? Benny Snell is great. I know. I really feel like who isn't great on our Pittsburgh Steeler team because they've all been pulling their weight, man. Just look, I can't wait to see Claypool. I can't wait to see him go in. I feel like he's going to do a hurdle and like jump across the Rappers to get that touchdown. They're going to be like, whoa, what the hell just happened here? <laughs> uh, is Kev Gill saying is, is Jacob? Is Jacob not, not a wanted person here? Well, I say it like this. We're all family, right? Well, not 100%. It's once you hit that subscribe button, when you fully hit that subscribe button, because I know there's still a lot of people like to check it out. <laughs> so you're not 100% you're not part of the fam just yet. But Jacob, we'll give, you, we'll give you a chance to be nice. 
we don't want anybody to feel like they're in in a spot where it's like, uh oh, it's that dude again. No, get off the live chat. No, we give everybody a chance here. Nightbot sometimes will time you out for no reason whatsoever. But as long as you're on your best behavior, remember we are all adult, adults here, 18 and over. So parental uh, supervision you should be having. Otherwise, we have fun. We just we just have fun. So there's no reason to say no, don't come here, or you shut up, or any of that. No, 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 no. We're good. Unless I say, oh. Oh, yeah, no, 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 and don't let the door hit you on the way out. That's the difference. Then you'll get a block. You don't want that. But can we all be on our best behavior? I think Jacob's going to listen. I'm thinking. All right. And what would you say, Jacob? Hey, Bonnie, Kevin had a crush on you. Okay, and I appreciate that. But do you really think that maybe that's why he's telling you shut up? He doesn't want you telling him that? Like, come on. Why would you do that? Put somebody on the spot like that. So rude. And what do you say, Mustard Seed Productions? He said, this week, our boss, John Reap, will be Zoom interview Todd Garner, producer of Paul Blart 2. Yes. Nice. Mall cop, guys. Mall cop. And, but see, Kev, I mean, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I, I feel you when you're telling him, shut the fuck up. Because like I said, you're like, dude, like I told you a secret. Why are you letting it out? I don't understand. Maybe they didn't think I'd answer. So give Jacob the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I think I may have heard of that. I have. I think I kind of was a mall cop in that movie. <laughs> and hang on. What did you say? You said, I am Japanese. Watashi wa nihongo sheet amasu. And my answer is labor. Okay, good answer. So you think since 2018, Japan has been short on labor. Okay, good answer. And what, Dane, do, do I think that Pittsburgh Steelers will go 16-0 and 0 this year and make the Super Bowl? I think I, I definitely believe we're going to the Super Bowl. I believe it. I believe it's so strong. 16-0, and 0, I'm feeling like the only team that I'm feeling that could give us that loss, which would only be like 15-1, to 1, which isn't that bad, would be the Buffalo Bills. That's the only one that I'm like, we should definitely make sure we're studying them and get ready for them. But I don't, I don't have doubts that we, we can't, we can't beat them. I just think that game, it would not be like a whip ass. It would definitely be like a heart attack game, close encounter calls <laughs> for sure. And what do you say, Jacob? He's been checking. Well, and again, and I appreciate that. It's okay. Now, Jacob, we're not gonna we're not gonna pay attention if you say any more of that. Okay, you have been warned. Okay, you mentioned me to talk. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. In a Skyrim song, is that what you want to hear right now? Is that what's in your brain? Okay, and hang on. I don't know what you're trying to say to us, but I would believe that it is in Japanese since that's what you told us earlier. So I'm believing you. All right. Well, I know you guys have been waiting so patiently to find out this answer. So I'll give you just a little bit more time. Anybody else want to throw in their answer? What do you think in Japan since 2018, there was a shortage of what? And cheers. What do you think? Hmm. Oh, now, now, now. That means go Steelers. We believe in you. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I give a Kev Gill. He's not, he's not being that bad. He just, yes, he said something, but it's not that. It could be worse. Okay, trust me. We have seen a lot worse here. Trust me, that's not a reason to get blocked. All right. But are we ready to find out the answer? Because I know you guys are waiting. You're like, please, please give me that answer. Okay. So in Japan, speaking since 2018, Japan was suffering from a sh shortage. What was that? Sh oh, Creamy just came in with chopsticks. That's a good one. Okay. It says, if you ever dreamed of being a ninja, now might be the time to make it into reality. Japanese city of Iga or Iga, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, which has a rich history of martial arts master and claims to be the birth 
place of the ninja suffered from a ninja shortage in 2018, despite the fact they were willing to pay salaries as high as $85,000 for the performative ninjas willing to take on the job of staffing their annual ninja festival. Sign me up. I want to be a ninja. <laughs> you know, you watch the movies and you see it and you're like, that looks like that would be fun. Especially because when they fight, they make it look so easy. It's like in slow motion. And it's like, they move this hand, this hand. And it's like, holy crap, he just kicked his ass. How did he do that? Yes, Creamy, ninjas get paid. Man, 85000 a year, that is not a bad job. I mean, yes, you're going to take a beat down. Probably could get stabbed by a Chinese star or something. But you know what? It's the risk that you take if you want to be a ninja. <laughs> Interesting, right? I know. Crazy. The things that we learn here. Okay, now who wants to go to Japan and be a ninja? Or well, who's in Japan already and says, I could actually do that for a living? You can. I wonder what... Um, hold on. I am going to ask Bigsby something. But I wonder if there's still the shortage, remember? Is there still a ninja shortage in Japan? I didn't understand that. Oh, my God. What does she ever understand? Is there still a shortage in Japan of people wanting to be ninjas? Okay, here's a summary of what I found. There's a ninja shortage, Hership says, or, to be accurate, a ninja performer shortage. Today, ninjas can earn anything from $23,000 to about $85,000, which is a really solid salary, and in fact, a lot more than real ninjas used to earn in medieval Japan. Okay, so see now they changed it. That's a big gap for $23,000 all the way to $85,000. But wait a second. It seems like this is for like, like the festivals and stuff. So then again, I feel like you wouldn't even get that hurt. Probably that's where it goes to twenty three. If you're actually going to sign up to get hurt, then probably eighty five thousand. That's what I'm thinking. But yep, it says in Iga or Iga, however you pronounce that. And the creamy is that supposed to be a ninja? Is that what that is? Because I tell you what this looks like from here. It looks like one of those little microscopes. Remember in school where you put the little petri dish on the bottom and you look in? That's what that looks like. Um, it, or a light of some kind. It, I don't think it looks like a ninja, but it could be a ninja. And YouTube, you got to get better pictures. You, you have tried to be a ninja and you broke your nose. Hang on. Well, see, that could happen because with a ninja, you are going to be fighting. So I can see that happening. But hey, that's not that bad. You just broke your nose. Browns won yesterday, so Ravens are stuck in third place of the division. I know. Ha, 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 ha. Even though it's like Browns win, but Ratbirds lose. Right now, that's okay. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm interesting? What is the training to be a ninja? How long do you have to train in Japan to be qualified as a ninja? Here's what I found online. Oh, well, at least she says, here's what I found. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that's draw the line. You're getting your ass beat. Are you still? Oh, Jacob, really? Okay, yeah, that's definitely going to be deleted. Oh, can we all just get along? And yes, you're going into timeout. You have been warned. Come on now. We're how old here? There you go. Boom. Say you ask and you shall receive. It's your brother, though. It's part of your family. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Train like a ninja. I just wanted to know, like, the time frame, what they kind of say. That's all. It says five basic ninja jutsutsu techniques with the real life ninja master. These are workshops. Or they're not going to give you like a borderline. Okay, let's ask Bigsby again. What's the ballpark borderline to become a ninja amount of months? Here's what I found on the internet. 
That has nothing to do with Ninja. Okay. Um, how long does it take to be certified as a Ninja? Okay, here's a summary of what I found. How long would it take to become a master? To become a gen and, and master the skills involved will take you about three years at least as one's whole body has to change completely to master the speeds involved for physical skills. And oh, I didn't think about that. Outlook. I didn't think about that. So yeah, it could be some years, not some months. Can't take the quick one. <laughs> and Jeffrey's like, go Buffalo Bills. Is Trump a ninja? <laughs> <laughs> and what'd you say, Ingham? Hey, I am a ty Taekwondo blue belt. I got a nosebleed five times and broke my leg from too much kicking. Dang, watch out. And you got to go, Kev Gill? Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate you coming in. I understand you got to take care of that business. That, that's okay. You know what? You don't have to call him stupid because he is related to you somehow. So then again, you don't want to say he's stupid. You get my drift? <laughs> oh, he's not embarrassing at all. It, it was actually okay. Don't worry about it, sweetie. It happens. And just think, it could have been worse. So you're good. All right. But now let's find our second wake the hell up fact of the day. Let's see. Let's find something else that's quite interesting. Let's see. How about... Hmm. What is something that you guys have no clue either? And don't forget that thumbs up if you haven't done it yet. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that either. Rock, 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 rock. Okay. I feel like that's the beginning of the exercises for being a ninja. It sounds very ninja-like. Ra, I feel like ra, ka, ra. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing that though, if somebody could train me to become a ninja. I just wouldn't do the whole three years of training, but just to see some of it, to see if I could actually hang from like the beginning steps would be kind of fun. And of course, not right now, because I still need my energy back. But when it gets back, it's like, put that on the list. That would be kind of fun to do it with you guys. It'll be like, all right, we're ready for our first step. Okay. Hmm. How about, oh, that's funny. Remember the watermelon question? <laughs> that just popped up. We already know that, come on. It has to be something else that you guys have no clue. Is that surely? <laughs> then I can be the ninja cheerleader. Watch out. You think I won't kick your ass? <laughs> Give me a L. <laughs> and instead of punching up, we'll punch this way. <laughs> All right, guys. Hold on. Let me find something. I got to find something here. Something you guys have no clue. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know about that one. Hmm. No. You guys don't care about that. Uh. Hmm. No. What about, no, not that one either. Yes, that's right. Ravens are going to take a big loss tomorrow, for sure. We're not taking anything else but a win. And I'm not being cocky. I'm just saying. We deserve it, damn it. And Nightbot, thank you. Tell everyone, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hangman said, you have to learn to do a backflip to become a ninja. Okay, I could do a forward flip. Don't always land on my feet. Um, so I'd have to learn. Can I use a trampoline? <laughs> yes, Steelers this week. Tomorrow night, Tuesday night football. I know it doesn't sound familiar. Well, it's all because of the Rona. So they've made it. Tuesday night football. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we will be playing. 
What'd you say, Kirby? You said, what don't I care about? What, what, what do you say? <laughs> Not so much you, just in general. And hello, hello, by the way, Donald, hello. Okay. I mean, some of these questions, you guys are gonna be like, yeah, no. Remember, I am trying to work really hard here, finding something that you guys have no clue, but you've been wanting to learn. Like that ninja, I know one of you were like, oh my God, my answers. Now I know what I'm gonna start doing on my spare time. Train to be a ninja. <laughs> and bonjour. Okay, can, can, can I look in this internet again now? You guys can talk amongst yourselves. All right, let's see. Let's see. How about, let's see, no, not that one. Okay, how about this? What is interesting from the birds that live in Minnesota? What happens to them? What happens to the birds in Minnesota? Okay, the first thing that popped in my brain was they get really cold because in Minnesota, especially this time of the year, it's getting really, really cold. So I'm thinking the birds, even though you think birds can handle the weather, I'm thinking they're just like, why the hell am I here? And that's why they, they fly away. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and aha, aha. I feel like that's almost like our bird impression. Aha, aha. <laughs> A little bit, sort of, maybe. Not sure. All right. What else do you guys think? Birds in Minnesota. It's so general too, right? Like where the hell would this come from? But it's, it's somewhere here in the internet. What are you thinking? And apparently this also has the date of 2018. So it might be in some 2018 facts, which we'll find out if it's still sure in 2020, the same thing. Clapping. You think they, you think the birds have a problem clapping? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, what are we doing here? Or is that a, or is that a thing of French fries? I swear it could be a thing of French fries versus hands clapping, or maybe just one hand, maybe waving. <laughs> you gotta love when you're trying to figure out what the hell you guys are writing. Remember, autocorrect isn't friendly, but. It's still, with pictures, that's kind of a hard one because I'm not really sure. I really think you are, though. You're saying, hello, I'm here. Donald is here. Good morning. <laughs> All right. So what else do you think? What in 2018, the birds in Minnesota, what happens to them? And I could be totally wrong. I mean, I, I was bringing up weather. It could be even the summertime, too, with the birds. They have a problem. Maybe it's too damn humid for them. They're like, oh, I can't breathe. Who knows? It's up to you guys. What do you think? Oh, that's a good one. You think they're obese. So in Minnesota, they're the fat birds. Okay. And why do we think they're obese in Minnesota? What would be the difference? Is it because they're finding more food and then usual places out there? Because that's interesting. Maybe there's more things for them to snack on versus another place. And then they actually don't want to leave Minnesota. They're like, we like Minnesota. And oh, and because they got obese, so they're big, they can't fly anywhere else. Amy, there you go. They can't fly anywhere else. So they're stuck in Minnesota. Yep, exactly. Too fat to fly. <laughs> And they say, fuck it, we'll settle here. We don't really have a choice. We're screwed. We ate too much, damn it. And they really have a hard time during the holidays, I heard. 
<laughs> it's like the birds are fine. And then in Minnesota, for some reason, they just can't get out. They're like, I had plans for New Year's. God dang it. I had to eat again. <laughs> and what a hangman. A what a. Remember, I find the most ridiculous things I could possibly find that I know you guys are curious about. But I think you're trying to tell us something. Wa woo wada chi so. I'm not sure. I think you're you're telling us that they're just lazy. Yeah, we'll go with that answer. The birds are just lazy. <laughs> so that's what it is. Birds of Minnesota are just lazy birds. Okay. Any other clues? What do you think? Well, not clues. Any other answers? What do you think is, is what happens? And it said in 2018. And specifically, it says October. So just so you guys know, October. So then that goes with what I was saying with the holidays. It, it, it seems like that's when it happens with the birds. But what else do you think with the birds in Minnesota? What is something different? Or maybe it's not different at all. Maybe it's all over the place. And they're just specifically just saying Minnesota right now. I don't know. And what'd you say, Hingman? You said, woo wa, or is it, I think, woo wa chasiso? Wait, woo wa ta chiso. Very important word. Subscribe. Is that what it is? Very cool. Thank you. Now, am I completely butchering it, or did I do pretty good figuring it out? Because keep in mind, guys, uh, don't take any offense. I do pronounce a lot of things wrong, even your actual names. Don't think I'm making fun of you or anything. I just can't pronounce some things sometimes. And hey, Spy Ninjas, you're a big fan of the kick bump. So you're like, just because we were talking about ninjas before, did that get you excited, Jeffrey? All right, and hang on. Ra Chuso. Okay, so it was... So is that the beginning or was that the end where I screwed up? So was it ra chu so? So it's wait, is that just how you pronounce it? Ra chu so? Oh my god, I would have never thought that just from that big ass word. Look how easy it could be sounding. But see, how did I know that that W was actually? I have heard that before. Seems like the W's. They really are like R's or it's how their accent comes out. It sounds like it's an R, like ra, ra chusu or so, ra chuso. Or see, that could have been a coup. <laughs> you see how confusing it can get. All right, what else do you guys think? Guesses, guesses, guesses. Or maybe somebody actually did a... Uh, a study a while ago on birds, specifically in Minnesota. But remember, we're talking about October of 2018. What happened to these birds? What are you thinking? Or what didn't happen to these birds? Maybe, let's do the opposite. Maybe they're starving. Maybe they're looking for food. And in 2018, they couldn't find any. I don't know. Okay. You say it, woo wa a chi so. Woo, woo wa a, a chi so. Did, did I say it pretty good now? Thank you. And Andrew, good morning to you all the way from Fort Worth, Texas. Hello, hello, hello. Up, uh, Nightbot. Nightbot already timed you out, Fias. Remember those links. Even though you're not posting links, you got to make the dots like. A little bit more further apart, but good morning, good morning to you too. All right, Nandrew, not to put you on the spot or anything, but what do you think? What do you think happened in Minnesota, October of 2018 with the birds? What do you think? What do you think it was? Do you think that, um, all right. It just popped in thinking they're extinct, which I think that's an absolute ridiculous answer. But again, it's what I'm thinking. So maybe only in 2018, these birds became extinct and then they came back. <laughs> I don't know. Keep guessing. 
Because remember, this is only Wake the Hell Up Fact number two, which means I still will find us number three. Aha. Aren't you already feeling smarter from the first one? I know I am. Their feathers fell off. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? And hang on. You said the birds became invisible. So all of a sudden they were flying and then they're like, it's a, it's not there anymore. What happened to the bird? Maybe. And, or maybe they were flying and then all of a sudden you saw like a bunch of feathers just shedding everywhere. And maybe because it gets really cold in Minnesota. So they're, so they were like trying to keep their, their coach for the winter. But for some reason, the, the diet that they were eating, the feathers fell off. Okay. All right. Good one. I just feel like if any of these <laughs> things that we have guessed here were correct, don't you think we would have heard it in the news? Like, I feel like, where have we been? We didn't hear any of this. But then again, do they always tell us everything that happens all over the world? They don't really. They kind of hide some things from us, don't they? But I'm not sure. Well, we'll, we'll find out. I just know it's time for another drink. So cheers to you. Could you imagine though, like seriously watching a bird and then all of a sudden just, you've seen feathers come off, but I mean, literally just watching them like all their feathers shut off. I would think immediately that something's like in the air. Like, you know, people say from these cell phones or like radiation and there's all this stuff. I would think if I was watching and I seen a bird's feathers just all started coming off, I would start definitely questioning what's going on in the sky. <laughs> and then I would also be questioning about if a bird just became invisible too. I'd be like, what the hell are they eating? I want one. <laughs> right, Creamy? Everything is hidden from the public. It's awful. We live in like, we already live in like a big bubble. We don't know nothing. And yes, it is real water, but it's a mix of, of the real water and raspberry and peach tea. Because since since this uh, Rona virus thing, I can't really like water just tastes very different to me. I need some kind of flavor in my life or it's weird. And what'd you say, Ingham? You said the big, no, you said in the bird world, there's no such thing as downtime, no kicking back or chilling out. Being a bird is dangerous and energy expensive business with some big new task always on the horizon. It's very interesting. Shouting out the birds, man. Do they work hard out there? You think about it, they really do. They really don't have chill time. Because when you watch a bird, like, I think, what was it, the other day when I was in the patio and I saw the hummingbird, the hummingbird's up to something. It's not just it's not just hanging out on the tree. It's doing something. And what did you say, Bradley? You said their feathers started changing color to black and gold. Oh, now that would be so great, wouldn't it? Just watching a bird and then all of a sudden looking at its feathers and they just start having like a gold tinge. And then some of them just change all the way to black. That would be such a beautiful bird. <laughs> Good answer, Bradley. Good answer. All right. Any other guesses that you guys think would be happening for our bird? Specifically in Minnesota, October 2018. And what did you say, Hangum? You said summer is busy with raising a broad of youngsters and getting them launched into the world. I mean, think about it. They do. They have their babies. They put their nests together. And it's I say babies, so it's not just one and done. They got a bunch of eggs and they're waiting for them to hatch. And that's right. And launching them into the world. They are pretty busy, aren't they? Okay. We respect the birds of the day. We do. We just don't like when they poop on our cars <laughs> or on us. Even though it's supposed to be good luck, I still don't want it. And if you leave bird shit on your car too long, you're going to have the paint come off. So it's like, what is in their poop? Is it toxic? Next on the calendar is molting, replacing their plumage with sturdy, fresh feathers for winter. Many bird species also add to their downing base layer to help hold body heat. I know, isn't it really cool, though, how they do make their nest? How they do put that together for the baby so they can stay nice and warm? It's always interesting when you actually see 
like you know when animals do stuff like that it's like wow it's just it's so fascinating it's like they're so smart and what do you say andrew just think how hard it was to launch breezy into the world <laughs> oh yeah it wasn't too hard because of the fact that i was like i spent a lot of my labor at home so it was five and a half hours she was out and it was three big pushes but still, I feel you. And especially for the people in the world that, that had like 28 hours of labor. I mean, I've heard stories for like three days of labor. Oh my God. Yes. Now that is real. <laughs> real birth right there. That's like, oh my God, get this demon out of me. <laughs> But yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was not that bad with Breezy. Not at all. But like I said, I just didn't want to go to the hospital. I just stayed at home and I was just like, okay, contractions are coming. We can deal with this. Yes. Okay. We're good. We're good. It wasn't until it was like then super close where it's like, okay, now you got to go to the hospital. So just so you guys know, you're supposed to be 10 centimeters. I was seven. Yes. Go me. <laughs> didn't want to be at the hospital. I was like, no, it's going to be cold over there. I'm nice and warm and toasty in my bed. I don't want to go anywhere yet. <laughs> All right. And Hangman, remember it's autocorrect. It's not you. You don't have to retract those messages, but it's okay. All right. Any other clues, any other guesses you're thinking from 2018 and talking about in October specifically, yeah, I know it's specifically, but I like to say specifically. Shout out the ocean. <laughs> what do you think? What? They were drunk? MDOT says they were drunk. Well, now, he is originally from Minnesota, so I feel like he might actually know this answer. That's pretty crazy, though. Why the hell are the birds drunk? Did somebody leave a lot of trash out from partying from the holidays and like the birds got into it? What the hell? The what? Well, I know the birds eat fruit. Yes, and that's true when fruit gets older, because that's how you make alcohol out of it. But how is it just in Minnesota the birds got drunk? What the hell happened? And what did you say, Hingham? Too, took too long to what? Oh, okay. It took too long to fly south. That could, that's interesting. And what did you say, Hingham? You said true or false. Nearly all our birds disappear in autumn, either migrating the warmer climates or hiding out for the winter in the woods. I would feel that would be a true answer. All right. And are you ready for this answer? Let's see. Wake the hell up back number two, the birds of Minnesota. What happened to them? Is M dot right? It says right here in October 2018. The Gilbert, Minnesota Police Department issued a public notice about birds that appeared to be under the influence. What the hell? I would have never thought about this in a million years. It turns out that the airborne animals were apparently eating berries that have been that had fermented due to the early frost, which was making them tipsy. Unfortunately, this meant that the buzz birds were acting confused and flying into windows. Hopefully they were able to sleep it off. Holy shit. So I guess if you were in Minnesota, Minnesota in 2018 and birds were just all of a sudden just flying into your window more often than they usually are, you know what happened. That is frigging crazy. I would have never thought that. And Hengen's like, I say false. I say resoundly false. Yes, something like three-fourths of the species we see in summertime depart from the warmer climates each fall. Well, thank you for that. And Darshana, well, hello, how are you? appreciate you. And what's that on my phone? We we're talking about the drunk birds. That's what was on my phone. That is crazy. It's crazy that it didn't happen anywhere else. Well, now I'm kind of interested. Big Spee, is there anywhere else in the world besides Minnesota where the birds got drunk off the berries? So no, instead it's bringing me to the maps. Okay. Where else besides Minnesota did birds get drunk off the berries? Okay, here's what I found online. Take a look. No, it's still just saying Minnesota. Birds get drunk on berries and fly into windows. 
That's crazy. Because you know what it makes me think of? There's been lots of times that birds have flew into a window. And now I'm wondering, I used to make the joke. I'm like, are they drunk? <laughs> now it could be true. Or sometimes that window is just so clear that they're like, they don't see it. I just still don't understand that one because there's always some kind of glare. But then again, I have walked into a couple glass doors <laughs> in my lifetime because of that reason. So, yeah, I guess the birds can do it, too. And how about the COVID over here? Well, Darshana, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, yes, it is still really bad. Uh, the governor should be probably speaking tomorrow, but we are in um, a 25% capacity all here in Vegas to try to stop this spread along with making sure you wear your masks and your social distancing. And what did you say in them? You said, I am not that burr. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to find wake the hell up fact? Number three. And you said, where is that dog? Where is my dog? Good question. I'm running around somewhere. You want me to see if I can get her in? Let's see. Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. Where's my baby? Cause she likes to hang out and then she likes to be lazy and go back to sleep. You're in somebody's house, Tamid. Okay. Um, hopefully you have permission to be in that house and good morning to you. All right. Let's find our third wake the hell up fact. What's it going to be? Hmm. What is there going to be our third wake the hell up fact of the day? Remember again, no cheating. First thing that pops in your brain. Haha, ha. same voice as Bigsby. Must be change her voice. Must change it. <laughs> like for real, Tamid, for real. And for real, I'm going to find you number three. It's going to happen. Let's see. Something else very interesting. Hmm. Let's see. No, not that. And Boomy? Um, were you trying to say my name, Bonnie? And especially, it's right there, so you can't not spell it right. Is autocorrect screwing up my name again? I blame you, autocorrect. And what'd you say, Hingham? You said, when I was 10, I sang a song to the whole school that is not a joke. It was actually the whole school. Well, that's awesome. Takes a lot of, takes a lot to be able to do that. And hey, Anna, good morning to you, sweetie. Up oh, the eyes again. Nightbot's on your ass. Okay. Hmm. I'm finding it. This is going to be it, guys. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. What about? Um. Okay. All right, here's something interesting. Are you ready for this? Wake the hell up fact number three. What happened back in 1987, the, U the New York Times reported? <laughs> now that's so general, is it? Okay, well, according to here, it was something... It was something about the internet. I'm not going to read anymore because then that would be cheating. So basically it's like what was threatening our internet back in 1987. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go for a guess here and speaking, we were speaking about birds. I'm thinking the birds, they attacked the internet. I don't know. They got in the way. Cause you always see them like, outside and you know they're going after the wires and stuff so i'm thinking maybe 
when the internet was just becoming new that the birds were like, what are these wires? Let me see what these are about and started attacking them. And that's my final answer. I'm going with it. Birds. <laughs> And you would like a peanut butter sandwich. Well, but what about a peanut butter with a little bit of honey? Or you can do the jelly thing. I feel like peanut butter is just too plain. Or at least put bananas on it. Just can't be just the peanut butter. <laughs> All right, Deshana, you have a great rest of your night. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate you coming in. I know. You're like, it's time to sleep. This time difference. It's okay. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up before you leave. And for everyone that hasn't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done it, remember if commercials pop up, don't hit that skip button. 30 seconds, just wait. Premium members, you already pay the big bucks. So you don't got to worry about it. You don't get commercials and us YouTubers still get paid. And remember, I say YouTubers because it's not just me. It's other people out there that do YouTube. So look out for them and don't hit that skip button. And I see you, Travis. How are you, sweetie? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, it's glupped. Is that your final answer? Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, again, I almost said 2000. 1987, and according to the New York Times, they were reporting an issue with the internet. Why was there an issue with the internet? Or I'm thinking there was just a bunch of people maybe hacking into the internet at that time. People were like, I can do this. I'm figuring it out. It's new. We can go in. I know, Joshua. Good morning to you. We are. We're finally playing tomorrow night football. Oh, that's okay, Anna. Hey, as long as you came in better late than never. But next time be on time. <laughs> but I appreciate you, Anna. Okay. And what'd you say, Hingham? The World Wide Web went live to the world. There was no fanfare in the global press. In fact, more people around the world didn't even know what the internet was. They had no clue what it was. So, so what do you think? Is that why it went wrong? And because people didn't even know? And they were like, how are you finding these things out? It was all foreign to them. And what to mid Ravens and special ops? What are you talking about? That's late? Yeah, they're going to be very late. They're going to be very late uh, winning because they're not going to win. They're going to lose. Yes, Anna, thank you, go Steelers. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and just so you guys don't know, if it's the first time you're over here, that's what keeps that smile bright on my face, along with you guys just being in here and having fun with me. All right. So think again. Think again. Go back. Some, some not even born in 1987. But still, just think about it. If something happened in 1987 with the internet, what was it? Right, we are the Steelers. Steelers versus Ravens. That's right. And I like to call them the Ratbirds. Did you put your Christmas tree up this weekend? Nice. I'm sure a lot of you did the Christmas tree this weekend. This is usually the, the weekend that just passed is usually the one people are like, okay, we're done with Thanksgiving. We're getting ready for Christmas. Let's get the Christmas spirit in the house and put up that tree. And what'd you say, Andrew? You said an eclipse temporarily shut it down. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, good answer. And Kamani, good morning to you, sweetie. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> Is that what you're like? Yep, we're we're almost there, but not there quite yet. Because Christmas is still, we're not even in December 1st. We're not there yet. Can we put blue tape in a Christmas tree? You can put whatever you want to do in your Christmas tree. Nobody says you have to put lights. Nobody says you have to put tinsels. You might not even want to put a decoration on your tree. You might just want the Christmas tree. There is no rules of what a Christmas tree looks like. I mean, yes, you should have a star above the Christmas tree. That's what they say. But what if you don't want to have an ornament on top of there? On our Christmas tree, we have a star and we have a crown that goes in it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Talk about being different. But who's to say how your Christmas tree can be? It's in your house. It's what you want. You don't even have to have celebrate Christmas to have a Christmas tree. You could just like the tree and have it up. 
And what did you say, Hegman? In the early 1980s, the National Science Foundation, known as the NSF, funded national supercomputer centers as the several universities in the United States and provided interconnectivity in 1986 with the NSF net. Well, thank you for that. It kind of sounds like you look something up there, but it didn't sound 100% with the answer, so you didn't cheat. So thank you. I appreciate it. And 40? Is that the answer you're going with? No, no, you said no, no, it's still not the answer. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, where does the number come in? But maybe it is somewhere in there. I know, Anna, tomorrow is December 1st. It's crazy. I cannot believe we are already hitting December. Tamid's like the German war. And Mahar, hello, good morning to you. Thank you. I'm feeling that love. And you know what? Come here, guys. Bring it in. Oh, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And is it like your favorite holiday? So it gets you really excited. You're like, I'm so excited. I can't wait for Christmas. <laughs> Hangman's like, I didn't cheat. I know. That's why I said it kind of seemed like you did. But then I'm like, no, it's a little bit different. And the Vietnam War started in 1989. Well, thank you, Tamid, for giving us some some extra knowledge here. All right, guys, but the knowledge I want to hear from you is our third wake the hell up fact. And we're talking about an incident that apparently threatened the internet in 1987. And it all went back into the New York Times is where they reported it. I'm sure they reported other places. But what do you think it was? Well, I appreciate you, but no, I just don't give out my number. Thank you. I appreciate you asking all the way from Pakistan. All right. But now think of the answer. What do you think? Internet being threatened. How would the internet be threatened? What would be a way it would be threatened? I got it. Maybe they went to launch it. And they didn't exactly know what they were doing. And that's how it got threatened. It got short-circuited in a lot of places. I don't know. That's what I'm going to go with. And Danny, well, hello. How are you, sweetie? Okay. Hang on said, thus creating network access to these supercomputer sites for research and academic organizations in the United States. Yes. And do you think that place was threatened? And how was it threatened? And you know what, Danny? I was going to say, that's why I said thank you for that information. Because, Tamin, I think you're a little wrong with your dates. It's 1965. I thought it was way, way further back. That's what I thought. That's all right, Tamin. It's okay. Now you want my friend's number. Well, which friend number do you want? <laughs> Let me go through my phone and go, hmm, pick a friend. No, but you know what? You never know if you don't ask, you might receive. So it was better that you asked to know the answer. Now you know it's not going to happen. I appreciate you asking, but but it's not going to happen. That would invade somebody's privacy. Okay. And Danny says, ha ha, I'm a big fan of history, ma'am. Oh, God, don't say ma'am. That just makes me sound old. I know it's, it's great. Um, it's being polite. It's having great manners, but don't call me ma'am. <laughs> and it's good that you, because I really did suck in history. I'll remember some things. And I knew when Tom Tamid put that in, that that wasn't right. But I wouldn't have known the exact date to tell you, though. So thank you. Appreciate you guys putting in that information. All right. An international connection to the NSF and NET the emergence of architecture such as a domain name system and the adoption of the TCP IP internationally on existing networks mark the beginnings of the internet. Wow. And thank you for that knowledge. But now what messed up the internet? What blocked it or attacked it? <laughs> Threatens. Those are the words. You finish your exams? Yes, Danny. Did you get an A? Are you feeling it? You're feeling very confident. You're like, I know I did good. I studied so hard. I got this. Your nasty law exams. Ha, 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 ha. That's, that's a lot of work. I could just imagine, especially because they change shit so much. It's like, wait a second. Didn't they change that law? I got to brush up on it again. <laughs> 
And Emma and Mihur, just so if anybody wants your number, a plus 920-306-685-4103. Well, well, thank you. I really don't think it's smart to put your number in here because unfortunately, sometimes there is trolls that are lingering and I wouldn't want anybody to prank you or do anything. You have been warned. Okay, and I know Anna. I cannot wait for the Steelers to play tomorrow. I'm like, finally, the game is going to be here. It would have been nice. I don't know why we didn't do Monday night football. I mean, we already didn't do Sunday. But I guess they still feel like it's safer this way, even though they already took now the people off the right. You see what I mean? Lamar's still not playing, and he wouldn't have played on Thanksgiving. So I'm just saying, what's with the extra... The extra, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're giving them like extra treatment. I really feel like that. It's not cool at all. The NFL is totally like giving them favoritism. That's the word I was looking for, favoritism. All right, and hang in some more information. Just... That with no, 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 I know that. But what I'm saying, baby, is they should have already took Lamar. J Lamar Jackson isn't playing, so they already should have just took him off. Yeah, we definitely don't want Rudolph to be the backup. No, I understand that, but I'm saying they've already tested their players. But you mean just to see if more pop up? Well, that's why they need to play with their second string and third strings. That's what I'm sticking to. <laughs> and DeAndro, good morning to you, sweetie. Steelers are going to kick the Ravens' ass. Yes, Rappers are going way, way down thank you Sean I'm feeling it too I know Anna they just keep canceling canceling it's all the rap birds fault they're the ones that have all the spread of corona on their team it's awful were they following protocol hmm we have heard they haven't which is awful the color of the tie that matches with a yellow shirt all right and good morning to you Kamani all right I'm, I'm feeling, where is that answer coming from? <laughs> but are you shouting out the Steelers too? I think you are, and I appreciate it, so thank you. All right, guys. But what do you think? Remember, we're talking about our third Wake the Hell of Fact of the Day, and we're talking about something that was with the Internet. The Internet. And specifically, hold on, 1987. So back in 1987, remember, guys, no cheating. I'm giving you just a last minute to put it in. What do you think that attacked the Internet? And it was all written in the New York Times. It was reported. There was an issue. What was that issue? And what did you say, Danny? You said, well, here the grades are a bit different. Our top grade is 10 and the lower is a zero. Then you have like four types of classification. When you are under five, you failed. If you are between five and seven, that's a low. Okay. So I feel like a 10 is what you did or at least a nine. You feeling strong with that? Yeah, I know. You're reminding me of my college days because I, I remember with some of the grading that that's how it was. It was like, this is this is how it is. There's no A, B, and C, and Bs. It's all about the number game, and you want to stay in the high numbers. <laughs> and C and Maher, we appreciate it. But like I said, for some other people, it's not good. And I don't do, I don't do the WhatsApp. I don't do that. I do, um, I do the Snap but I snap you back. So if you snap me, I will snap you back. I'm just a little bit behind and I will catch up again today. I got you guys. I will snap you back. All right. What are we ready? I feel like somebody else is going to put something up. Oh, Fiaz, you are very hungry, but not the comments. You're just getting hungry. Well, maybe it might be time to eat some breakfast. Remember breakfast of champions. Eat, eat, eat up. Oh, Nightbot was like, no, you're going to be timed out before you eat breakfast. <laughs> Mm. And what'd you say, Hangman? The NS at an NET was decommissioned in 1995, removing the last restrictions on the use of internet to carry commercial traffic. Interesting. And Maher, and I appreciate it. Thank you. 
And it's like, I love Snapchat. You know what I love about it? I love that there's so many different cool filters and like things that you can put. It's like, it really is cool. I love that you can do like the little video. So I feel like when you guys snap me, it's like I give you a video back and like you feel that's personal. That's straight to you. That's not just I'm making videos and send them to everybody. No, they're personally to you when I'm snapping you back. And, and what did you say? You said, if you are between a seven and nine, you are a very good student. Seven. Sorry, just, just feeling that moment. And between nine and 10, you are the creme de la creme. Ha ha ha. <laughs> he says, I wish I could know. Ha ha. We grades are between the seven and nine. No, oh, that's good. Well, I feel like when you get to that point and you're in college, it's like, not saying you shouldn't have done good in, in school, and especially when you get up to high school, it's like, come on, guys, this is really going to count now. But when you are in college and you are going for something that you want to do for your life, your degree, and you could always change it later on, but it's still the point that it's like you do your best because you really get involved in what it's about. And like with you with law, you're getting very involved. So it's, it, it, it's exciting. You're supposed to make it like that. The people that are like, oh, my God, this is so hard and stuff. You're not getting into your craft. And yes, sometimes in college, especially in the beginning years, you have to take some classes. Which you're like, I have to take these again. But still, you get through it and just know that you're on your way to a degree for the career that you chose. You work so hard up to that. So it's like, why aren't you going to get at least a seven to a nine? That's right. Show, show it, Danny. Tell the world. That's how you do it. And well, mwah, mwah. that's to everyone and, and some hugs as well. There you go. All right. And what did you say, Hungham? Research at CERN in Switzerland by British computer scientist Tim Bernsley in 1989, 1990 resulted in the World Wide Web linking hypertext documents into an information system accessible from any nod. Okay. All right. Interesting. What's the most exciting thing about Christmas that you can't wait for, Anna? Is it to give out the present? You're like, I cannot wait till people open these presents. <laughs> or is it the food all over again? Oh, my God. Just thinking about food. I'm like, no. I just keep thinking of that refrigerator. I'm like, every time I go in it, I'm like, I cannot just eat the leftovers, especially macaroni and cheese. I must stay away. <laughs> <gasps> All right, guys. Well, here it is. The moment that you've been waiting for to find out what our third wake the hell up fact of the day here. Talking about the Internet being attacked back in 1987. The New York Times reported it. Are you ready for what they reported? OK, I'll do it right after this. You said since the mid 1990s, the Internet has had a revolutionary impact on culture, commerce, technology, including the rise of the near instant communication by electronic mail. Yes, we, we really, even though the Internet, sometimes it's like, ooh, the Internet, it really, it really is a good thing. And home sweet home. It's always nice when you're home. When your home feels nice and sweet. <laughs> And what did you say, Danny? You said, well, that's true. I've noticed that this year, it's my second year, your second year of college now. And you said the difference between university and college is huge. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. You're like, sweet home, Alabama. Sorry, that was just in my brain. And that's okay. <laughs> Speak with us. Oh, and I feel it, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. I feel it. I'm your best friend. It feels so good. But I really like being the best family because I feel like family is more. <laughs> I get greedy, all right? Like the baby was like so super duper dumb. What baby? What are you talking about, Timid? But then again, it's you, Timid. This just happens sometimes. You're like, no, 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 my second year of university. Oh, I got you. Okay. Well, congratulations, though. You're sticking in it. Okay. And I know we ready for it now. All right. Says here, back in 1987, the New York Times reported that there was an issue with the phone lines at the time due to the fact that sharks have known, sharks have known an explicable taste for the new fiber optic cables that are being strung along the ocean floor linking to the United States, Europe, and Japan. 
It says, if shark attacks gives you chills, you're not alone. And the people over at Google can sympathize thanks to the fact that they deal with shark attacks that threaten the internet. Oh my God, I would have never thought about that. But think about it. Before the internet came out, when I guess those wires, the sharks were like, hmm, what is this? And then they bit it. They said, oh, that's mighty tasty. <laughs> so I guess they had to figure out to hide it from the sharks. Because now that I'm thinking about it, they still put it in the ocean. Like, did they have to, like, cover it more and stuff? This is really interesting. Sharks were like, screw you. You're not going on the Internet. <laughs> you said, I am mad now. They just scream like they hit me. No, nobody should be hitting you. Remember, no violence, no violence. Like your father friend. Okay. But do not trust the babies that are your father friend. Interesting. A bestie fam. Anna, doesn't that sound so much better? <laughs> Even just a bestie. I love it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. But this really, are they still having issues with sharks on the internet? I don't remember this. Well, then it was 1987. Is there still problems with the shark? No, wait, hold on. Is there still problems? I, I know, that. I didn't understand what I was telling you. Is there still problems with the sharks and the internet? What do you want to look up on Google? Are sharks still interfering with the internet? The real reasons why sharks attack humans, no. No big speed. At least you got sharks, though. Thank you for at least doing that correctly. All right. Are sharks still causing problems with the Internet? What do you want to look up on Google? How does she keep bringing? Why does she keep bringing me in Google? <laughs> What'd you say, Danny? Here goes another. Which country you think invented the submarine? Don't look in Google, <laughs> right? Oh, well, I'm trying to ask Bigsby. We're not even in Google. She's already trying to say, I don't have the answers. Let's go into Google. <laughs> and Spiral, well, good morning to you. What do you call the security outside of a Samsung store? Hmm. I'm not sure. Security outside of a Samsung store. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure on that one. I'm not usually good at those kind of things. <laughs> Clue, it's from Europe. The Guardians of Galaxy. Nice. Okay. No, I'm still challenging Bigsby. We're not done with her. Do sharks cause interference with our internet? Because now when we're having a problem with the internet, sure. just blame Here's the great what whites. The internet says. Shark's attraction to undersea fiber optic cables has been well documented over the years. The internet is a series of tubes that are sometimes attacked by sharks. Reports of sharks biting the undersea cables that zip our data around the world date to at least 1,987. See, so we're talking about 1987. But has it been recent reports? Has it been recent reports of sharks attacking the internet? Now brought me into Google. <laughs> She's like, I'm done. <laughs> Has it been recent in 2000? We'll go with the 2000. Yeah, I'm thinking that's, hold on. Here's what I found. I know, shut up. Has sharks interfered with the internet in the millennium? Now it just gave me the definition of that. Has sharks been still attacking, attacking the internet in 2020? What would you like to find on Google? <laughs> well, yes. Good morning. What? Caller. Call Bella. Bella. Why? You want to show me something? No, she just wanted your attention. You wanted me. Oh, she's looking over there, breezy, telling her, pay attention to me. Bella, you know how to get my attention. Come here, princess. Come here. Isn't she so cute to me? Come here, Bellas. See, that's what I mean. You want my attention, and then what do you do? Come here. Ow! <laughs> 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 
She's like, you're not tricking me with that. I just wanted your attention. Hey, Mom. <laughs> what, Brad? I need toilet paper. Because of the pandemic. What does it say? Buy one, get one free bamboo eight count toilet tissue. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Brianna was saying we can use her old CVS. Oh, wow. <laughs> Save your receipts in case people keep buying that toilet paper. Again. All right, I love you too, Brett. My, my alarm needs to be set. I don't know what it can is. Can you believe that? They just said in 1987 that sharks attack the internet because they are like, they're attracted to the fiber cables. Isn't that crazy? So I was trying to see if they still have done it now, but Google's like, I'm done with you. <laughs> yeah, I know that they can get on like the same frequencies and stuff because they're on a different What do you mean? Like, you know how my LED lights are connected to that remote that's not connected? Yeah. But it's because they hit the same wavelength at the same time. Oh, the freaking, but I'm saying, what does that have to do with sharks? I never thought in a million years that a shark would interfere with my damn internet. So when you guys have that, you know, buffering, think about something just <laughs> bit the wire. What? All right. Love you too. All right. We'll just try to ask Google. Has there been a recent case of sharks attacking the internet? Okay, here we go. Ha ha. This is July 20 of 2020. It says our underwater world is full of cables. There are sometimes attacked by sharks. In the search for the new subsea oil field, geologists use large vessels to tow several heavy duty cables called streamer cables to collect seismic data. Equipped with hydrophones that re receive and turned signals initiated from a, a seismic source, these streamer cables are deployed at about 16 to 65 feet, which is five to 20 meters deep. And each streamer is typically 26,247 feet, which is eight kilometer, kilometers, I don't know why I can never say that, long. As one can imagine, this activity probably attracts numerous animals to check out what the ruckus is all about. One of these animals are sharks who are attracted to the magnetic streamer fields and tend to bite through the cables. In some areas of the world, equipment loss due to shark attacks on streamer cables is a serious problem. In terms of time delays and economic loss for the operator. Oh my God, I could imagine. Cause you imagine just the money it takes to do that. And then that happens. Holy shit. It says this isn't the first time sharks have caused a headache for the undersea cable systems. This problem goes back to 1980s, according to the network world of Google. Has had to wrap their internet cables in Kevlar-like material. That's what I was thinking. Wouldn't they put it in like a different material that sharks wouldn't like? Like you got to get smarter, man. In Kevlar-like material to prevent damaging shark bites. So why are sharks attracted to the undersea data cables? It's not exactly known. Some believe that because sharks can sense electronic magnet fields through jelly-filled pores on their snouts called ampullae of, of Lorenzini, perhaps they're attracted by the electrical current and confused it for food. Okay, I guess I could see that. Alternatively, shark expert Dr. Chris Lowe from California State University suggests they may just be curious about them. If you had just a piece of plastic out there shaped like a cable, there's a good chance they'd bite that too, said Dr. Lowe, who runs the shark lab in the interview to Wired. That is so interesting. It says, so what sharks are being naughty and making trouble? Mult multiple species, depending on how deep the cables are at, but at this depth, what culprit may be bull sharks? I was wondering that too. Is there going to be like a, a, like a certain species? So it says the bull sharks, which their stout gray bodies and short blunt snouts, a widely distributed shark in tropical and warm temperature waters worldwide. They are common in areas where oil companies have encountered problems with sharks attacking the streaming cables. You know what I'd be worried about? The friggin' sharks attacking you when you're putting the cables in. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, I don't know about this job today. Too many friggin' sharks. And Pippi, well, hello. Good morning to you. It says the International 
Union of for Conservation of Nature has accessed bull sharks as near threatened because their occurrences is estuarine and freshwater areas make them vulnerable to human impacts. Well, that is pretty friggin' interesting. And there's still more. If you guys want to look it up, you can look it up later. But I want to show you guys. Um, I was trying to find a picture here, too. It says an undersea fiber optic cable is attached to this. So see, I was going to say, because that looks like it's on the sand, but then it goes... That's what it's attached to, and then it will go underneath. You know what? Maybe it's also the color, too, they could be attracted to. You never know. That's interesting, though. Hmm. But they said scientists did. They grabbed a bunch of bull sharks and had them repeatedly bite these underwater cables in the name of science. <laughs> like, we're going to get a couple bull sharks and see if this is right. You notice how they didn't say we're going to get a great white? <laughs> All right. Very, very, very interesting. All right. Well, don't you guys feel even smarter today than you did before? Thank you, because I like to hang out with smart people. And you're like, next. Well, it would be that time to shout out the weather. What is going on in Las Vegas, Nevada with our weather out here? Because I tell you, it is cold. The heat is officially on in the house. It has been on but it is like, once it goes off, it's like, holy crap, go on again. <laughs> it is definitely getting cold here in Vegas. And let me see all of my complaining of how cold it really is. Well, let's see. It started at 44 degrees. That's pretty dang cold. It's currently only 47 right now. Okay. I get to complain. 47 degrees. The clouds are out in the sky. And it's going to go up to a high of 64. That's it. That's not that hot. But here's the good news. You know, we like the good news, especially when it comes to our weather. It's so cold. Well, it looks like even though the clouds are going to be out today, the clouds are going away all the way I can see up to Sunday because it looks like the sun is going to be shining super, super bright, but still not that warm because it looks like it's only going up to the high of 65 tomorrow, starting at 40 degrees. And keep this in mind, 65 is the highest of the whole week. Oh, my God. And Danny in Spain, 13 degrees. I know. And here I am complaining. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, because Wednesday, it's going to start at a 39 degrees, but it's going up to a high of a 61. Well, hello, Bruce, and I did say good morning to you now. Good morning. I didn't see you. I'm sorry. How dare I? <laughs> Finally, we have football tomorrow. Finally, Bruce. All right, but back to our weather. So Wednesday, it's going to go up to a high of 61, which that's not that warm. And again, it's starting at a 39 degrees, okay? Thursday, let's start off at 40 again, but then only going up to 58. It's not even going to get into the 60s. Oh, my God, just looking at this is making me so cold. And then Friday, let's, let's start off the weekend with, I hate to say it, guys, but there looks like there's rain. There isn't going to be any clouds on that day that they're saying so far. But on Friday, it's going to start at 37 degrees, and it's going up to a high of 60. And they're saying right now only 20% chance of rain. So that's not that bad because that seems like it could go away and get no rain. But then on Saturday, they're saying the same thing. 20% chance of rain starting at 40 degrees going up to a high of 62. And then how about Sunday? Because that's the last thing we can see here. It's still going to be bright, bright sunshine, but it's going to start at 40 degrees going up to a high of 63 degrees. There is no wind or red flags warning or anything. So that's good news there. But otherwise, it is cold here in the desert in Vegas. And I see you. Good morning, Mona. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I appreciate it. You say that God has made you so much beautiful that your beauty can't defeat the beauty of moons and sun. Oh, my God. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay. And Anish? Oh, no, Anish. You're going to behave, right? I just want to make sure you are going to behave. And no, even though you say I look like that you're, you're um, 
and RIP to your wife, Shayna, I'm Bonnie. So yeah, no, just I'm Bonnie. And what do you say, Danny? I think you, the people, or USA, are the only ones who maintain the fair. You meant to say Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. I think you're right. <laughs> and a speed run. Do you got to go on a speed run right now? Well, better than you and me because I'm not going on no speed run. All right. And Bruce, you said, look back, look back. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm still, there's so much. That's why I told you guys, if I ever miss you, just repeat it again, because I'm super, super sorry. I love you guys, and I appreciate every single one of you coming in. He means that compliment in a nasty way. Okay, Pippi. Uh, I don't think so. Mona was being very sweet. Why would you turn it out? And Mona, you're having an issue. Can I help you out? I might be able. Depends on what that issue is. All right. But are we ready, you guys? Uh want to share some stuff this is that time because i will creep on you because i do have something to share with you guys something that i do want to talk about here that happened in vegas so in breezy remember we went to um and we took her to the hospital it was on was it on friday i think it was on friday i can't even remember anymore now i think it was on friday and for the tonsils because we weren't sure it's bleeding or what's going on because if anything your blood you kind of get nervous and like what's going on here so with an update on that, and I already put it in the community so you guys can see everything's okay. We just got to go for a second opinion. But what pissed me off is here we're going into the emergency room, right? We know COVID is real. We know it's going around like crazy. I don't mess around. I got my two masks, and this is exactly how I was with my two masks. And do you know what they told me when we walked in? Well, they checked your temperature because they do that, which they should. Thank you. But um, what they did was they told us, you can either put this mask on over your mask or you can take off that mask and just put this one, okay? I was like, is she on crack? She wants me to expose, she has no idea what's going on here and she wants me to expose myself now and put this mask on. Hell to the nose, you know what I did? Let me just show you guys. I have the two masks on, okay, already which are nice and snug and feel good. Then I was like, okay. And even Brianna looked at her like she was crazy too. And I said, yeah, I'm just going to put this one right over. Okay. Do you guys see how loose this is? Like extremely loose. And it doesn't even cover. Look, it doesn't even cover all around my face. And this is what they're giving. This is what they're giving in the hospital. I'm like, oh my God. And literally, Literally, you saw people walking in. So first of all, I, I got Lysol. I asked them for their little sanitary things, whatever I could do. And I went all the way to the end of the hallway. First of all, the place was packed too. And immediately people were coughing. I was so freaking nervous. I was like, oh my God, I'm not going through this Rona again. So we ran all the way to the end of the hallway. I sanitized our seats and everything. And that's where we sat down. But we were literally watching everybody walk in. And this lady's still telling people, you can put this over your mask or you can take your mask off and put this on. I still was like, what is wrong with her? Then she went on breaks. So we were there a long time. You know how the emergency room is. And then another nurse came in and she was telling the people to do the exact same thing. And I was watching all these morons. And yes, I'm sorry, but these people are morons. Who would take their mask off? We're in a pandemic. There's people... It was packed. The emergency room is packed. People are coughing. You know, there's a lot of people that have COVID already in this environment. Why are we taking off our mask to put on a new mask that this mask? Now, look, if I just had this on by myself, look at this. Do you see? Not only it's not covering every anything. Well, first of all, I'm wearing it backwards. <laughs> you got to pinch the nose. Okay, but do you see this? This is so loose on me. And I even tried to, I went like this. I did the, you know, twist over like I do on with, with the others. And I was trying to twist it in and I was putting it on, but I still kept my other mask on. It was still like, it was just ridiculous. And I couldn't believe all the people that even came in without a mask. Like, what is wrong with you? At least if you don't have a mask. Okay, I get it. Maybe not everybody can afford something. So you still would go with your shirt, a scarf, a jacket, something. If you're coming into that environment. So it's just like, it just showed me, especially here in Vegas, how this virus keeps getting spread. 
because you got professionals saying wrong information. Why take off your fucking mask? I told Brianna, I said, that was me. I would tell people if they really wanted to take off and just put this on to go outside. But first of all, I wouldn't recommend it because these things are loose as hell. Like, thank God it is a mask. But are you serious? I couldn't believe how many people were literally doing that. They literally were doing that, taking off their mask. And I was like, oh, my God. Right to mid? Major morons. And what did you say, Sean? And you sent me pictures? Okay. When I get a chance, I will creep on you. And what did you say, David? You said, my bro was happy. Saints killed it. The other team had no quarterback. Apparently used the salesman. Denver, I think. Wow. Well, see, that's the thing. Right now, you, you never know what's going to happen for this season because people can get sick out of nowhere. And we do want the players to be safe. But that's why we do have second strings and third strings. I'm just saying. And the trivia... Well, that was it. We did the third wake the hell up back. That's why I got to be on time, man. 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when I start. <laughs> and Danny's like, it's already 5.50 p.m. Dang, your day has already flew by. It's, it's like time for dinner already. Please reply to Mona's request. Okay, Mona, what did you try to tell me that I missed here? You said, see, today I am going to the beach with my family, but my parents are not allowing me to wear a bikini. Can you help me? And really, I am not abusing you. It's the truth. You want to wear a bikini. Okay, what's the reason why they won't let you wear a bikini? Is it because maybe you have some risque bikinis? Maybe you can have a compromise with them to put a wrap over? How's that? That's usually a good compromise. And depending on what beach you're going to, you kind of want to fit in with... Now you retracted your message, really. Autocorrect isn't friendly. We're just going to go with that one. And Karan, good morning to you all the way from India. Okay. You did, Tamid. You did give me a warning, but it's okay. It's all good. And Tamid's like, I'm poor. I can't even go to the damn beach. What does it have to do about being poor? You don't have to pay to go on the beach. You don't have to pay to look at that pretty ocean, except if you have to pay to park. But think about it. There is a way that you can just walk over there and just enjoy the scenery. Here in Vegas, it would take a long time to walk over. But still, if you do that drive, you don't even have to get out of your car. There's places that you can find the ocean view that are free. And what about North America? What about North America? Can we have money, please? And you're just asking for the American woman. What about the American uh Men, Pippi, what's up with that? <laughs> you said, no, it's too early. But wait a second. Didn't you just say it's 5.50 p.m.? That's usually at dinner time. Okay, usually like 7, 6 or 7. Is that better? And do I wear a bikini? Sometimes. Sometimes when I go to the beach, depending on how windy it is, because sometimes I'll have a bikini, but sometimes not all of the bikini comes out <laughs> because of the wind. It's like, whoa, no, no, no. I think I think we're just going to take the top off for now and just show off the top of the bikini because I'm getting cold already. And what did you say, David? You said my Cuban friends are in Mexico, got their citizenship. They are very happy, can get better jobs now because they moved to the U.S. or Canada. Nice. American woman, but guess who? <laughs> I swear, my head was like, American woman. I don't know. That's just, that was just a melody that came in my brain. All right. But Sean, you do have something to share. But yeah, I had to vent with you guys for a little bit because that really upset me, especially we were, we were around health professionals. It's like if anyone would be telling you to not take off your mask, it was be in a hospital. But apparently the person they have working right at the front before you get into the actual place to check in. And if you've already been there and unfortunately we're already in the system, but they have you sit there because it was so packed. But like I said, and then the lady was even trying to get us. They just said, we just heard them say the guy um, that he's positive. They're about to take him away. And he just sat right over there. And the lady was about to put us right next to that seat. Yes, it was six feet away, but I was like, is she crazy? I said, no, no, no. My daughter and I are going to sit over here. I said, I'm still having lingering effects from the corona, and so is my daughter. We're not positive anymore, but I'm not trying to get this again. So thank you, <laughs> my wipes. You thought I was the cleaning person. I'm like, give me all your stuff. And then I cleaned our nice little area, and that's where we sat. 
Because I'm telling you, man, it was scary in there. It really was, especially everybody walking in that didn't even have a mask. It was just awful. There was actually a nurse that came to work to do her little sign-in thing, and she didn't have a mask. And she wasn't even going like this, walking through the hallways. I'm just like, are you kidding me? She signed in. She ran, because you could tell she was late. She ran in through the one door, and then she ran back out and then got a mask from the lady in the front. And I was looking at her like, are you serious? With a pandemic going around and you're worrying about freaking being late to work? Are you crazy? You could have just exposed so many people. Like, it's just, it's just inevitable how people's brains think, especially somebody already in the health field. It's like, you really have no excuse. What's wrong with you? And Zen, well, hello. Good morning to you, sweetie. Yes, happy bond day. Thank you. I'm feeling the love. And you said it's a little chilly and wet here in central Pennsylvania, but thankfully no snow. <laughs> Is that what you guys do? You're like, no snow, no snow, no snow, no snow, no snow. <laughs> And here in Vegas, I'm complaining about how cold it is. We're like, please give me snow, just a little bit of snow, but not too cold. <laughs> and did you send me a video on Twitter? Okay. Because I do know, I know Sean sent stuff. Anish, I will check out what you sent. I remember because it was on Friday when we did leave and just a little early. So yes, I definitely, if you guys have stuff to share, share it, share it, share it. Because I got it. And David, was I ever a cheerleader? I actually was. I was captain of my team. Thank you. And I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, Danny's like, yeah, ha, 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 it's 5.50 p.m. But in Spain, dinner time is at 11 p.m. So I'm at half of the... Are you serious? They eat so late? Why? But you're like, so I'm at the half of the afternoon. Why is it you guys eat so late? Is it because, you know why, I, I, I could probably say this, because I know I family in Puerto Rico, and I know in Puerto Rico, you go visit out there, oh my God, it's a party 24-7. That's probably what it is, because the Latin blood, man, we party. <laughs> so you're like, we're partying, then we can eat 11, and then we'll dance again and work it off. Because <laughs> I swear, that's that's seriously how it is, that, that I have known my relatives in Puerto Rico. And And what did you say? You said any update? No, Mia hasn't been here just yet, but we know that she's she's a lot better because at least she's off that ventilator. Thank God for that. Um, but they did, they just kept her in the hospital a little bit longer because they were scared. I think it was because that blood pressure went up. So that was kind of scary. They're like, whoa, let's make sure. And first on you. Okay. I, I hope you're not going to make me upset with this because the last time... I was like, I'm not sharing that on here. Okay. So let's see. But I did want to see a picture. You said you did send a picture of um, your wife. And you said we kind of look alike. Are you sharing pictures of me? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you know this picture? This was my first red carpet ever. That was my first one. That was a YMI party. I remember that one. Thank you for sharing memories. I think I styled myself pretty good too. Put the belt on. Oh, I remember those purple shoes. Oh my God, those purple shoes. Yes, I remember those purple shoes because they hurt like hell. <laughs> but you wouldn't know it with the smile. Oh, I remember this event. I forgot exactly... Um, what this red carpet, like, I know it was in a store, it was the launch of something, but I remember it was a last minute event. And I do remember getting dressed up and my hair was still wet. <laughs> On a red carpet. That's how I do it. <laughs> hey, it was like, am I going to be here? Or am I not going to be here? You didn't give me the time and my hair was wet. And what do you say, David? You said, are the big Vegas shows still happening with limited singing? No, there, well, there, there was a bunch of shows that were, there was a lot of shows that were already on pause, but there was, um, there's, there's just now they have to be at 25% occup occupancy. So there's a lot of shows that aren't happening for also that reason. Okay. And it's a surprise for me. Well, I'm already surprised just seeing this. I I'm like, I haven't seen these pictures forever. Oh, this was at the Playboy Mansion with Carmen Electra. 
I remember. And I remember that dress. I remember being cold right on those sides. <laughs> <laughs> like might be a sexy look, but let me tell you, you feel that AC when it pops right on the sides, you're like, woo. And then this was just, yeah, this was a photo shoot a while ago. This was, um, this was right when I moved to, when I first moved to California. Oh my God. And that's when I was modeling for Sebastian. Look up then they made my eyebrows at that time. <laughs> It was because I was doing the certain modeling and they had to like, they were doing like the draw. It wasn't completely like, like a um, shaved off or anything. But I just remember that was like the thinnest my eyebrows have ever been. It's so weird. I'm like, when can we let them grow? <laughs> Sorry, would you say, Mona, you were going back? You were packing your bags. Oh, okay. No worries. No, 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 Tame. The kill is such a strong word. We don't use that. I know you're upset with your cat, but you don't want to really kill your cat. You're just upset with the cat. All right. So I thank you for sharing that, Anish, but you have this video. This is where, this is where I get nervous. Yeah. See, you see, you just, we're not, we're not, we're not showing that kind of videos on here. That would be an automatic ban from YouTube. You can't do that. Appreciate you sharing the videos that you'd like me to see, but I cannot show that. So thank you. And what'd you say? If you were okay, do you also wear a bikini? I don't think, you don't think I do? I do. I have a, I have a bunch of different kinds of bikinis, but I do have a couple of one pieces that I really, really like a lot because the one color, it's like almost like a coralish like a bronzy, I don't know, it's really cool. Especially certain lighting, I'm like, oh yeah, this looks good. <laughs> and share your pictures, Sean, I'm going right now. And Sunny Sunny, good morning to you. Okay, so I'm going to Instagram, I presume. And then Danny, I'll read what you said, just give me a second, okay? Going in the Instagram. All right, Sean, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, I love this. <laughs> it's a Steelers ninja ready to kick some ass. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right. And what did you say? Danny says we wake up at 6 a.m. Then we take breakfast at 6.30 or so. After that, we have the media manana where we eat a little fruit or something. Then we eat at 2.33 to continue... The Miranda at 5 p.m. See, that's interesting. I, I see I would need more food. <laughs> I'd be like, and now we get the snack time. Where's my snack? I couldn't survive out there too long. And can I show you beach pictures? Please, this is a request. You can. You just got to let me know where, where I'm going. Because remember, sharing is caring right now. Oh, another ninja one. I like this. Look at that. It's like superhero style. Steelers, you see that logo. You see what's up right there. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. And then this one. Oh, that's a cool helmet. Look at that. Even made our like beautiful little diamond stars, just all gold. That's really cool. I like it. I like it. And technology tips. Good morning to you. Did you want to do Red Robin? Yum. <laughs> How many people just got hungry from that one? I swear you just made me think of their big old chicken sandwich that I love. And what'd you say, Danny? Like we eat five times a day. Yeah, but you do it in moderation. And it's probably not huge meals like we do out here, which is what we do really bad. <laughs> It's like we're like, no, that's a serving for about five people. You're supposed to have the servings be a lot smaller. Any Okay, anybody else have anything else to share? Let me know where I'm going. Because this is that time. Uh, let me see. <laughs> oh. Baby, I'm sharing this. This is so funny. Your little thing you posted on Instagram. <laughs> I, I feel like this is like a, 
like what's that what's that word I'm looking for? Um, this is an important message from M. City. He said, motherfuckers still think COVID is a hoax. That shit hit my house twice and I've had the flu and that shit ain't the same. No taste, no smell, brain fog, delirium, and a host of other shit. Motherfuckers don't believe fat meat greasy. <laughs> it's the expression. How he looks. Little cartoon version. And Speedy, good morning to you, sweetie. But good afternoon. Happy Monday and go Steelers. Yes, yes, yes. Keep that energy, guys. I know it feels like we've been saying this for like weeks now, but it's almost here tomorrow. You prefer the old school style helmets? You like those ones better? And you sent me the video now? You did. You already sent me one. Is it going to be one we can share or is it going to be one still that's like a private video? And David, you said just read your bio. You're famous had a hit single actress model you're just learning <laughs> thank you google for knowing who i am okay um uh, let's see and still working on more okay hold on a second i'm going back into the twitter world right is that where we're heading over into the Twitter, the tweet tweet. No, no, no. See, you ain't going to get me this time. It even says X, X, X. Hell no. I'm not falling for that again, Anish. And you got a bad feeling about those rat birds? What's your bad feeling? What do you think? The bad feeling is they're going to try. Are you trying to say they're going to cancel the game again? Is that what you're saying, Bruce? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Because we already have a game scheduled for this for this Sunday. We're playing Washington, if I'm not mistaken, right? It's not, I, I'm so lost now because we still haven't played the damn Ratbirds. So now I can't remember the schedule anymore. But I believe it is Washington next. Um, and that's what I mean. We play them Sunday. Like, back to back, here we go. Messing up our schedule. But that's okay. That's okay. We can take challenges. We can do it. And we're going to get our respect that we deserve. You'll see. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, it is Washington. That's right. And then it's the Bills. That's the one. That's the one, Bruce, that I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm not worried about anything else but those Bills. They're going to definitely give us a good challenge. I think we still can beat their ass, but it's going to be, it's definitely going to be a close game on that one. Oh, Bruce is saying you have a bad feeling because they're going to affect our whole entire... I know. I was worried about that, too. But the thing is, as long as they, they're testing everybody and they said the ones they had, you know, a bunch of new cases, that's why I think that they should play with their other people, the ones that aren't affected at all. Wait, you know what? We just got to keep good energy. Positive that they're going to... It's going to be fine. Steelers are going to whip the Rapper's ass and they're going to come out still negative. And well, that's interesting. You'll let you'll let a baby laugh in the car window. You mean laugh and maybe the car window open a little bit? I don't know. Timid autocorrect wasn't very uh, helpful with that one. And you said I didn't tell you to check. I sent you that video from YouTube. Okay, what do you mean? How are you sending me something on YouTube? Like you mean from the community, like a response back, which by the way, guys, I'm catching up to more of your comments on YouTube. I got you. Cause that's where I'm confused. But you said you sent it from Google, but it's still a video. You sent it on Twitter though, right? That's where I was at. And what'd you say, Danny? You said, yes. Can you search the real size of Africa? Cause our current maps, it's like one third of its real size. So you want to actually know like what the actual real size is. It is true. No, you are true with that. Um, I don't know why, even like in pictures and not just Africa, just other places, you wouldn't think like how large places are until you actually really look up something. It's like they really, they, they show you like a glimpse. Because even when you just look at the map and you look at, you know, it's like, it looks like it's so small and it's like, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Dave's like, you could perform at Super Bowl halftime show. Yes, that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> tell, tell their people to call my people. We got this. 
I just think virtual would probably be a lot smarter right now. <laughs> As for then again, wait a second, if it was like in the middle of the field and it was already like, there's not a lot of it and we're still like, we keep like way, way distance that, that, that could be arranged. Cause then it would be into the next year. So it, it could be. And what'd you say, Anisha? You said, guys, don't come between me and body. Otherwise you guys have to pay. Oh, Anisha's on that one again. I appreciate you having my back. Everybody's behaving here. We're doing good. So don't worry about it. And am I old enough to remember the TV show Quincy with Jack Klugman? Quincy's assistant, Robert Brill, was married to my wife's niece. No, I, I don't remember that. I'm like, Quincy's sounding familiar. I don't remember ever watching it myself. But something like that sounds a little bit familiar. So how about we also look that up too? So then everybody can be like, what show is that? Because you know, on our free time, which... Lately, we do have a lot, but Netflix might have it. If not, we could look it up on YouTube, something like that. The show Quincy. I didn't understand that. The show Quincy with Jack Klugman. It brought me to maps. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, Bigsby. And what'd you say, Danny? You know what the most ancient city in the USA? The most ancient one? And you said it's in Florida, by the way. Just just so if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> Thank you. And show I have requested you something can show me your modeling pictures of beaches or a bikini. Well, you're in luck, Sonny. Because um, Anish shared actually something from well it wasn't a bikini it was a it was a i think like a tank top in the bottom what the hell is it twitter see you're getting a little <laughs> and if i remember it was not exactly warm that day at all oh my god oh my god it was cold i remember that shoot and don't sh don't share anything with me. Sharing is caring. You damn well they're gonna share. Okay. The oldest city is San Agustin de la Florida, founded by Ponce of Leon. Oh, I remember hearing that. That's very familiar now. Okay, but this Quincy thing. Come on. Can you please show me information on the show Quincy back in the day? Which capsule would you like to use? No, I think this is going to be a Google question. Quincy, the show back in the day. Show me some information. Okay. Well, here it says 1807. <laughs> I was like, I think they're talking about Quincy Adams with something else. Yeah, this isn't exactly, I know it. I'm like, nope, that's not it. That's not the show you were talking about. Okay. Um, when did the show Quincy come out? There we go. That might help us. No, it, it's thinking I'm seeing Quincy Shaw. All right. When did the show Quincy with Jack Klugman? <laughs> I was going to have to do that one again. When did the show Quincy with Jack Klugman come out? There we go. 1970s to 1980s, after the cancellation of The Odd Couple. Now, see, I've heard that show before. It says The Odd Couple in 1975. Klugman returned to the television in 1976, and Quincy M.E. initially broadcasted as part of the NBC Mystery Movie Umbrella Series. It became a weekly program. And it got canceled. It said he finally got a copy of the studios. 
It says 2006. Ooh, Jack Klugman had a lawsuit. It's a bunch of stuff. Oh, here you go. Does Netflix have Quincy Me? I think, I think it might be on Netflix, guys. Is this it? This is what you were talking about right here? I believe it is available. Or it was available. It might not be available anymore. But this is it. Is this what you're talking about right here? Is that the right one? So I like watching old school stuff. I like watching it too because then I really appreciate what we have now, especially with technology and editing capabilities and all that stuff. And it is, it, it's fun to watch back in the day, older programs too, and, and just see, see all the difference it is now. Cause it's like such a big, it's like walking into a whole different world from, from what it was then. And a builder man. Okay. And good morning to TJ. What'd you say achiever? You said you're actually black and all the people have humiliated you in school for your color and it's hurting. Well, see, that's not cool, Achiever. We're not like that here. All cultures from all over the world, all people are welcome over here into this family. And I'm sorry people are that ignorant and stupid just to look at your color to treat you wrong. It doesn't make any sense. You would think nowadays, like it would already been done with us looking at people that be different. It's like, we're all the damn same in some way. So come on, what the hell? But some people are just not that smart. Sorry, Achiever. We love you here. All right. Anything else? Anybody else want to share? This is that time. What else did you guys want to tell me? So I know I did have to go into Facebook. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Hold on. This one's private. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, my goodness, and Lizette, happy, happy Thanksgiving to you, belated darling. No, Anish, there is no XXX movies out there with my name in it. I promise you it's not. And there is things in Google that will tell you that, and I promise you if you pay, it is false information. They do that. That's how they get you. They also hack you. That's how they hack your computer or give you some kind of virus. So be careful with clicking on some links. I promise I would tell you guys. And what did Super Dan send? Aw. You two are as well. Thank you. Super Dan and Super Sarah. All right. Okay. All right. And Jeremy, I know you had something you wanted to share. And well, hello, Poppy. Good morning to you. Wait, what did you say, Danny? You said, oh, Bonnie, remember my girlfriend's friend group song? Can you listen to another one just if you want? No pressure, though. No, no, no. Yeah. Let me know which one I'm listening to. We did enjoy that. Okay. Just give me a second. Find Jeremy's thing. Oh, you're like, I love my cat. <laughs> it's by a little guy. It says, you think black cats are cute? Yes or no? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Look how cute. Even though they say, be careful, it's a black cat. No, look how cute that little black cat is. <laughs> look at the little eyes. And did somebody just come in with the hello? I see you. And guess what? I'm saying hello to you. Well, hello, bra.
Okay. One last time, click no. No, you're not getting me like that, Anish. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, so tell me where. Where am I going? We're going to the world of YouTube, right? And where, where, where? Mm. You gotta tell me what song. Hold on, I'm just also closing out pages here. We all know how that happens. Vivekananda, I see you. You like that? It was like good timing. It was the creep and you popped right in. <laughs> I like how that works. Thank you. And I appreciate you being here, sweetie. Okay. It, it was just that moment. It was just that moment. I was in the YouTube. I mean, I was in, in the Facebook and also closing some things out here. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, and I will get back to you. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, and it, listen to a romantic song. But is that going to be a copyright? See, we already know because Danny was telling us his girlfriend. But that's the name, but the name of the song, Furofos. Okay. Hold on. Now we're back into YouTube. Let's see. It actually, I was trying to see too, if I just put that, it pops up right away with the, with the group. Hakuna. Okay, there's a mix on, there's a bunch of them though. It's like, which one? <laughs> That's good when you're all over the place. You're like, yes, we're all over here. Okay, because this one is video clip. This one, hold on a second. Then we have a tutorial one. Here, so you tell me. Actually, what the hell? Hold on a second. It was an OS, wasn't it? Hold on, Danny. I'm just double checking. Yeah, autocorrect wasn't that friendly. It still popped up though, but for some reason it looked like I didn't put the right thing. This is what's popping up. See? So is it the first one? Or is it the second one? But see how they kind of look the same? You've got to let me know. Yes, of course, you were on headphones. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what then I will. Okay. I took a picture of it and then I will write you back in Facebook. Does that sound good? Does that sound like a plan, Bibikananda? I got you, sweetie. Okay. And it's the first one. Okay. He said, what a liar you are. And Sunny, <laughs> I am all the way in Las Vegas, Nevada. What are you laughing about over there? <laughs> He's watching some stuff. Okay. Wait, hold on. I got to put the volume up too. Because that would help. So let me go with my settings. Let me make sure everything else is not going to start freaking popping up and opening out of everywhere. <laughs> All right. Here it is. When we started Carvana, they told us oh, that selling cars. Well, let's lower that. Because remember, no skipping commercials. Remember, guys, don't skip those commercials. Leave 30 seconds out of your life. Wait. And this one, it's 30 seconds. It says one of two. So we're going to show that love. And we're going to sit patiently and get the channel paid. And what did you say, Danny? You said there's another one when we went to Rome when we sang in front of people in a church. And that's another one besides this one. Okay, and look, only three seconds left. 
for first ad. And now it goes into ad number two. And see, this one's showing a minute. So what we can do is we could just wait out the 30 seconds. But I feel like a minute it goes by so fast. See, we're already at 49 seconds. We can wait it out. Let's get this YouTuber paid that put out your the beautiful group that your beautiful girlfriend is in. They're showing love. We're showing love right back to them. And we're going to wait patiently. And first, also, I hit a thumbs up. Boom. And it's a Hakuna. It's coming from the Hakuna group music. So see? Ta-da! <laughs> and I lost the challenge. I did. Anish, you said you would challenge me. How did I lose? What did I do? And Sunny, you have a special request to you. And if you are okay, can you make my wish come true? It depends what it is, Sunny. It just depends what it is. But someone recorded you in Rome too. That's cool. Especially when you're like somewhere else and somebody gets you. Did you know it too? Or did you find it later? And you're like, that's so cool. You guys got me. Okay. It's already, oh, it's already started. Hold on. It's starting now. Thanks. You want to get an answer ready. <laughs> Is this it? Because I just saw church. Is that what you were talking about? Hold on. Oh, well, that was a car. No, but there was literally like a scene with a bunch of people. Is this your girlfriend? It has such a happy beat to it. It's like, how could you not be happy listening to this? And thirsty, because I need a drink, so cheers. I was her. I thought so. And you're the one in the white? Okay. Okay, so that's your girl. Is that you? Wait. I'm looking. <laughs> that? Is that you? Was that you doing the counting thing, holding the paper? <laughs> yes, Danny, that's you. That's awesome. <laughs> we found you. Isn't this nice? You have a condo? I know. See, next, see the whole group again. Oh, look at my goodness. There you are. Right there. Or right there. The only thing, I guess you said the music were okay, but I'm worried about the actual video copyright. That's why I keep pulling it up. I'm not sure how that part works. Because I know we've showed flashes just on TikTok before, and then it was like... Oh, he's talking to his family. Yes, Anish! But he already told us, and we haven't got any copyright because of it. So, and their clothes are on. Thank you. It's not unfair. If you have stuff that's XXX rated, we're not sharing that stuff. 
You preferred the one you sent the other day? No, I like this one too. I like the other one, but the other one is more, as I said, it's, it's a different mode. You know, the other one's more of a sad a story. This one is, it's more upbeat. You know, it's almost like people don't understand. They're still going to get excited. I feel like it's just like hope. That's what it feels like. Bella's spoiled. What else is new? <laughs> but I love both songs. Exactly. And I love it. I'm seeing masks. They were wearing masks in this when they were close with each other. Hold on. I'm just rewinding that so you guys can all see. Practicing. Hold on. It's just there. I just saw it. I glimpsed down and I said, there you go. Dang it. I don't know where. Ah! Like how much do I got to pull it? It was right there. We'll grab it right there so you guys can see. Yeah. And she's so beautiful. Okay. You see? Thank you again for sharing that, sweetie. Oh, Anish is all mad. How is it? If you show me to go on somewhere where it's not going to show somebody's taking off their clothes or any XXX stuff, then we're good. But if you keep showing me stuff that it's like it's not really appropriate, then what do you expect? I, I told you already. All right. All right, guys. Well, Bella, are you are you coming back to say hello? Did you just get spoiled because daddy was buying you treats? I'm not buying you treats. Daddy was giving you treats. Um, speaking of which, if you heard him in the background, he was he's saying his family is stealing his recipes because they do that. Oh, they go back and forth, especially his sister is like, I can make the chicken better because he makes his stuffed chicken. So now everybody thinks they can make the stuffed chicken. <laughs> and Danny, you're like, but it's okay. Uh -huh. Yes, the other one dedicated to a friend who died. So it's a bit sad. But yes, for me, the best one we did. Well, because also you have to think too, and, and you put so much love into that also from somebody that died in the past. So you feel the emotion. So of course that would be so special to you. But I'm looking at it as an aside from somebody not knowing anything and just hearing. And it's like when you hear that beat and it's just like, it's getting you up and it gets you excited to start your day. It's just that all I keep hearing is like just excitement and wake up, wake the hell up, wake the hell up. <laughs> And Art, good morning to you. I see you, sweetie. Wake the hell up. Happy Monday, Steelers for life. You already life. know it. And we are going to beat the Baltimores because Kansas City is 10 and Boom. 1. Wait, what? What? They're 10 and 1? But oh, they're yeah, still they not 10 and 0. I know, but the but keyword, keyword is they still lost one. <laughs> but we are. We're going to beat the crap out of the rap birds. We got it. And yes, yeah, say hello. Good morning to my beautiful daughter once again. So now I showered. So at least now she's clean. No, I'm okay right now. Sure. I'm good. I have my raspberry peach for the moment. But I appreciate that. Thank you. If you want to make another bowl of oatmeal, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> Starting to get hungry again. And... And what did you say? You have to go. We will meet again. Bibakananda, we will, sweetie. And what art? You had an accident. Oh, my goodness. You had an accident this weekend. You busted your head open. You got 11 stitches. You said, oh, well, that's what happens when you're not careful. God bless you all. Oh, art. I'm so happy that you're okay, though. Dang, what the hell did you do? You had an accident. What exactly was the accident? Did you... Did you open the cabinet and something really heavy was up there and went boom? <laughs> I'm just trying to think, what did you do? Oh, and let me see your Or did you not judge it well enough when you got up and you hit your head on like the desk or your nightstand or something? Because I'm speaking from experience. This is why I'm trying to see what happened. Or the car door. Oh, that's a good one. How many times have we hit our head on the car door, Bruce? Getting out of the car. I don't know how it happens, but I feel like the door just comes and like smacks you. You don't have the Amazon app? Do I have the Amazon app? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I see. You just don't know how to use my phone. Shut up. Oh, wait, hold on. Before you do anything, because you hold on. Hold, I'm going to bring you right back, baby, because you're going to. Um, I already did that. No, 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 no. We got to lower the volume because I, I just was that. listening to a song. I so did just that. leave it like right there. Dude, I did now that. Now it's good. Okay. Just making sure. Whatever. She had it completely. 
No, you, you are do? so welcome, Danny. Oh, okay, cool. What did I do? You have to figure out my out. phone again. Yeah. S'mores. Oh, s'mores would be so good. Just not really healthy for right now. I don't think that would be a good thing. And what did you say, Danny? Were you able to see me? Ha ha ha. Because there, my friends decided not to show my face because I'm ugly. No, you no, you no, you're not. And what did you say, Sunny? I have never seen someone in shorts live. Can you please come in shorts? Crazy, would you like to show? Because you're in shorts. No, you're shaved. Sure. <laughs> she got Bye. short. There you go. Ta da! <laughs> I'm in pants. She's she's on crack, and now she's going to tell me. She's going to be like, "Mom, it's really cold in the house. You have no socks on either. No socks. Your hair is wet. I know, but you're making me cold looking at you. Like you got to have socks on." Just cold, just thinking of not wearing socks. <laughs> and Art, what'd you say? You said, what I didn't do well, you know, I had surgery on my legs or my feet. I was in the hospital, so I lost my balance and went forward. And that's all she wrote. Oh, my goodness. No, it was a balance thing. Well, you are getting used to it. So it, it makes sense how you would be a little bit off balance. But you already said the key earlier. You said, I got to be careful. So I'm just so happy you're okay. But that sucks, 11 stitches. God dang, it's awful. No, you know what I feel it was? It was your instincts playing football because we haven't had football for so long. So I'm blaming on the, the NFL of <laughs> why you got hurt. <laughs> and I am. I have said it. He said, well, because I have no tools and I lost my balance with like a dummy. No, remember a dum dum. <laughs> you didn't have your crutches on yet, and I misjudged the floor. I guess that's all it was. Oh, and you know what? Even if like you have the best balance in the world, crutches are so friggin' hard. Like you got to get used to it. It's not that easy to to figure oh, out no. a crutch. <laughs> I knew Brianna was going to co-sign on that one. <laughs> Because I remember when she first had to do the crutch, she was like, oh, yeah, we're not doing this. <laughs> I did it for like two days, and I was like, nope, I'll just suffer this pain. She's like, I'll just, I'll just suffer it out. I'll just limp. And what would you say, Anish? You're ending our relationship as a friend? Oh, Anish, come on now. It's not that bad. And Sam, hello. Yes, Anish wants to keep sending me um, XXX links. And I told, I told Anish, I'm not going to show off that, but Anisha also did a lot of um, my red carpet event pictures. So we shared that. See? And what'd you say? Art, I have no toes. So I lost my balance and that's all she wrote. I'm in patience. I want to start walking now. That's why I didn't go see the Cowboys game in Las Vegas because I was still in the wheelchair and that's totally understandable, sweetie. I totally get it. It's just, Slow and steady, and you're going to get there. You just got to figure it out. Because, yeah, when you're so used to your – it's completely different. But the good thing is you're okay. Jeez. God, 11 stitches, though. Dang. Well, Anisha, if you feel that way, then you must have to do what you have to do. It would be very sad to lose you. <laughs> Breezy's laughing at you over here, by the way. Okay. Um – and what else? Did, so what did you need my phone for? I think I did it. You already did it? Yep. She stole my phone to do something. I don't know if that's a good thing, bad thing. What? It's for Christmas. Okay, hold on a second. I do have this. Let's give you guys, is there any updates here in actual Las Vegas, Nevada? Because they send me this. Um, is it government you get? Remember, he said Tuesday. That's what I was trying to see if he's going to go earlier because we still have ridiculous numbers. We're mm. having like 25 deaths a day. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. I was telling everybody how upset I was at the hospital, how stupid they are. Oh, I know. Mm, okay. Las Vegas has tried. Let me see what this is. Oh, my God. See, here you go. Here's a prime example. It says Las Vegas has tried for decades to wean itself off casinos and it hasn't worked. Las Vegas tourism dependent economy is prone to major uh, crisis. But I know we already knew what has happened. But when you see that, oh, my God, Brianna, when you see this picture, it's going to get you friggin livid. Look at these assholes. 
Are you serious? Yeah. How many people are close together? That's how it is. No, but there's no six feet. Look at this. And that guy's not even wearing a mask. Look at this first picture. This guy's not even wearing a mask. Neither is that one. Look at this. This is on our, this is here in Vegas. Look at this. Look how, look how crowded this is. Isn't it supposed to be 25% capacity? I can look in this room already just looking at it. And that definitely doesn't look like no 25% right there. Oh, I swear. And what'd you say, Sonny? My last request is you or your friend is comfortable. Please show. That, that stripping. What is wrong with you? Come on. And what art you said, but I never felt when I was drunk. I was at the beer in my hand now and I'm sober and I fall on my butt. I need to get drunk again. <laughs> I used to say that when I played pool. I said, I play better when I'm drunk. <laughs> it's because you might, you're used to it. That's why I don't do that. No, I promise you, even though you haven't felt when you get drunk, it's still not going to help with the balance. It feels like it's right, but it's not. <laughs> and Christine, well, hello. How are you? I appreciate that, Kristen. You're going to start all the way from the beginning. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And remember, when those commercials pop up, guys, remember, this is how I get paid on the YouTube side. Not only me, other YouTubers out there. Don't skip those commercials, at least 30 seconds. The first commercial, sometimes there's two. Majority, there is a whole minute. But I'm at least asking you for the first 30 seconds. You could do it. And subscribe if you haven't. And put that thumbs up. Thank you. And would you say, Danny, the last Sunday I went to the dentist, but I didn't know why. They took out my wisdom teeth. Um, I had that happen before, too. <laughs> and also, you were put under anesthesia, which that's a good thing, because when they're pulling your teeth out, you definitely don't want to be awake. And you know what? I started telling stupid things and some more. What you're saying when you were going under? And some more things my parents weren't supposed to know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It was like a truth serum? No. <laughs> and do I know Kang Kangana? Ahemu? Well, good morning to you. I'm not sure. They recorded you. You're like, what a shame. No, it was like, oh, my God, Danny, if you have that and you could share that with us, that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> Because we would all laugh with you, not at you, because that is funny. I had my mom a while ago. I don't have it anymore. It was on a phone that broke. But my mom, um, she was loopy. <laughs> and the shit that she was saying. It was hysterical just talking to her. And I had it recorded. And I wish I had that to show. And would you say, Kristen, you have a really big problem as you are also a girl. And I think you can help me. Okay. Yes. So you need some girl power. What's the girl power we need? Okay. And as, as you're telling me that, let me just look and um, still look at this thing with the show and stuff on Vegas. I still can't believe that picture. That is so, they're so freaking close together. It's ridiculous. Oh my God. And my friend even um, co-signed on that one too. He said at the, at the casinos he's been in, he's like, it's awful. He was like, I, you literally have to like really make sure people keep in social distance because they're not at all. And you really have, oh, that's the same thing. Sorry. I thought somebody else wrote something else. Sorry. You know how I'm, you guys call me Skippy sometimes, which I don't want you guys to call me Skippy because I'm trying my hardest. Oh, this, this commercial break is brought to you by. Yeah. So the teacher asked, asked him, said, asked him, I said, describe misery, right? Describe misery? Describe misery. Okay. Well, first of all, how old? Tell people, because people are listening. He's a kid. He's in school. Anyway, he says, he tells the teacher, he says, misery is my mom having to teach me every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was going to say, how old is the kid? She That's mad why. right now. She mad at him right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> he just told the class. <laughs> His mom's He's pissed hot. off his house. <laughs> He's hot. Oh, that's cute. That funny. And what did you say, Hamu? You said Kanaga Renewed is a Bollywood queen Indian actress, and do you watch her movies? You will definitely be be introduced by her. Well, well, I feel honored. I feel like I might have, and just not sure a hundred percent. 
Because I'm not always good at just anybody's names, okay? I forget. <laughs> I'm like, wait, who was that actor? Who was that person? And what'd you say, Danny? You said, no, I just started telling stupidities and random stuff. I believed I was flying on an airplane. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and so, and then you went to sleep. <laughs> and what, Danny, you said, there's no way I'm sharing that. Ha, ha, ha. Also, could you, wouldn't understand it, though. It's in Spanish. The whole thing is in Spanish. Well, then it would be even funnier, especially for people that can't understand. They'd be like, what the hell is he saying? <laughs> and what'd you say, Christian? Okay. You said, ma'am. Oh, yes. And don't call me ma'am. That just makes me feel old. It's Bonnie. You can call me Bonnie. That's my name. And it's right up there. If you guys didn't know, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. You said, please read in mind. What happened some day ago was I have to go to my friend's marriage so it's one of my friends home. I changed my all my clothes and my friend recorded now blackmailing me for one night. What? Well, first of all, that's not a friend. Obviously, you see. And the fact that they're blackmailing you. So they're blackmailing you because. Like it's a video that you're changing your clothes. So basically, it's like they have this footage of you in your vulnerable state, which is like, why would you do that to somebody? How are they blackmailing you, though? Because even though it is messed up, it's more messed up on their end because honestly, blackmailing is actually illegal. And you can remind them that in the nicest way possible. And maybe they'll realize, hmm, maybe I shouldn't go this route. It's also illegal to film anybody when they don't want to be filmed, especially in their vulnerable state of being naked. Well, thank you, Hamu. I appreciate that. You guys bring out the sweet side of me. So thank you. All right. Anything else you guys would like to share? Because we're almost, we're almost, um, we're almost out of here. Hold on a second. My, my mom is texting me. Hold on. Hold on. Shit. Okay. I'll see what my mom says. And if Ken, then I, then I can share something with you guys. All right. And what'd you say? Do you know Big Boss Show? No, ma'am. Don't keep calling me ma'am. Just hearing it. It's making me sound like... Super old, even though I know it's respect. I just hate that, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Like, I just, uh. <laughs> and what did you say, Danny? The nearest thing you will see on the videos from the YouTube that people share. You're like, that's it. You're like, you're not seeing that. No way, Bonnie. <laughs> well, if you did tell me on like a Facebook, Twitter, or Snap, I promise. And I have done this with people. If, you, if there's something you want to share... You have my word. I would delete it right after. You can even delete it once it's open. I promise you. But I would, that would be kind of funny because it reminds me of, like I said, when I got my mom or Breezy the other day on the light game. <laughs> the mouse was, which you couldn't talk. She was like, couldn't take the T's out. <laughs> and what'd you say, Christian? You said, see, I told him that. And I will complain to the cops. And then he said, we will upload this to all your friends, including my parents, and upload on the internet. Well, well, here's the thing. If he's not scared of the law, then call his bluff. But you got to be strong because that is illegal. There's two aspects there. The fact he's blackmailing you and the fact he also has footage of you changing. So, and any friends that would be involved in that are definitely not your friends anymore either. So, Yeah. See if he thinks you're bluffing, because that's the thing. You might think you're bluffing. And if you really be serious and you really call the cops, and yes, it's a sad thing when you have to do it to somebody that you once called your friend, but look what look what they're doing to you. You, you can't live like that. You can't live with somebody holding something on you, which is something like that. That's awful. That's so friggin' awful. It's like, I got the footage and I'm going to shit. Like, fuck you. Go ahead. Go ahead and do it. And I got the handcuffs because that's what's going to happen to you. I mean, that's how I would do it back to them and see what happens. 
And again, if they are your friends, then they're not going to even watch the video or they're going to open it and not knowing what it is and see it and be like, no, because they're your friend. So they're not going to do that to you. Okay. What did you say, Danny? You said she's going to turn into a gangster. If you mates continue to call her, ma'am, she would be too body inclined duo. Well. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Oh, it's just, I swear. It's like, you know, and, and even like when you go to the store and you're checking out or whatever and you get them be like, oh, here you go, ma'am. And I'm always like, oh, no. <laughs> but then it's like, it makes me, it's like, am I old? But then I see it, you know, happens with Breezy. You know, it's just, it's that common respect, especially people from the South. They're very used to that. And the Midwest, they say ma'am a lot. And it's nothing about the age. But just for me, it's always just stuck in my brain like that. Because, you know, with teachers back in the day, if we said that, we were doing it in that way, like, ma'am. So that's what I hear in my brain. It's like, I can't hear it as a nice thing. I always feel like it's like somebody just being an ass to you. <laughs> Even though, again, I know you don't mean it that way, but just respect me. And that's where I come from. And what, Hamu? You said, Christine, I'll give you a suggestion. Change your place and change identities. New life, lead to a new life and don't make such worse friends. Um, That's easier said than done. Sometimes, especially with this pandemic, you can't just get up and move. But I definitely said already change the friends if they're already going to be involved. But you can, um, you can also, there is ways to also change, you know, like other things, not so much your identity, but like, let's say you have social media or even email accounts and they can't even, can't even threaten it with you because you won't even have that email. Use a different one. And now don't give it out to anyone. Trust me. I have a bunch of emails. I've went through hacking problems and so much other crap that it's like, fuck, <laughs> I'll do another email. Damn it. And what'd you say? Christine, you said, did you not hear me? I'm not going to say that word anymore. It's like it's a bad word. Bonnie, the problem is I have changed my all my clothes, including my inner wear, because before changing, he suddenly drops full water glass on me. And now I understand why he does that. Oh, so he literally was trying to set you up. Man, what great people there are out there, isn't there? I know. And then sometimes we pick them as our friends. Well, we do make mistakes in life. At least you have learned. <laughs> and Bibakanda, yes, hello again. You're like, I would call you Senorita if you prefer. <laughs> you know what? Senorita, I could go for. I don't mind that one. <laughs> and Danny's like, I'm just joking. <laughs> Anything is better than ma'am or or um Mrs. Mercado. Like just that, just Bonnie, man. Just Bonnie. And you are from India. Well, thank you. We appreciate you coming all the way in from India. And no, I have not been there yet. <laughs> You're like, okay, so senorita. <laughs> all I think of when you say that, Danny, the senorita, you're putting that song in my head. Going to Kentucky, going to the fair to see the to see the senorita with flowers in her hair. Oh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like you can, shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. That's what I remember. That's what's popping in my brain from Senorita. Do you guys remember that song? You like my curls? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And Bibakananda, I know, and you're also from India. We do have a lot of family all over the world. Isn't it exciting? Okay. And my mom, she didn't know that. So can I... I'm live, you forget. <laughs> okay, hold on. You prefer the banjo on my knee one. Um, why can't I think of that one right now? I like have it and I don't. I can't even think of the melody. Big Speed, what's the song with banjo on my knee? Hmm, you don't have anything playing right now. <laughs> How does the song go with the banjo on my knee? I can't remember it. Sorry, I ran into a problem. 
Let's try again in a few minutes. Oh, it's trying to connect me to Spotify. No, we don't want to open. We don't want to open music. Damn it. Baby, do you remember the song, The Banjo on My Knee? Because now I'm having one of those moments where I'm like, damn it, I know I know this song. Well, I'm already not taking you seriously now because you keep not saying my name, Bonnie, and you keep, keep saying the ma'am thing. But you said, I am not texting more, but seriously tell me what I should do. I already told you. I told you I would send that last text and I would threaten in the text and in a way that you're allowed to threaten and say, if you continue on blackmailing me, I'm going to call the cops and you're going to be in a lot of trouble because you're blackmailing and you also have footage of me that I did not okay because it's your naked body. That's not okay. I came from Alabama with the banjo on my knee. Is that, why do I not hear it? It's like, I know this. Baby, do you remember the song, the banjo on my knee? Oh, he has his headphones on. He can't hear anything. <laughs> he can only hear what he's doing right now. Um, okay, Google. How does the song go with the banjo on my knee? See what you did, Danny. We're about to get off, and now you're just messing me up here. I still can't think of, oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. Well, da, 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 with the banjo on my knee. There we go. <laughs> it took me a moment, but now I got it. You just have to put the Susanna thing in, and that sparked my memory up. Okay. And if you guys never heard that, well, look it up. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. It is that time, guys. I love you guys so much, but it is about that time. Hold on a second and get some hydration. She said, come on, Senorita Mercado, you can. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you guys so much. Please do me a favor and please make sure if you did not thumbs up the video, thumbs up the video now. If you did not, then do it now or do it on your way out. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Remember again, guys, I said those commercials, don't skip those commercials, not just for me. You watch other YouTubers out there. Unless you're a premium member, you don't have to worry because those commercials do not pop out. And do I love iPhones? Absolutely not. I am Android all the way. This is an Android. Okay. All right. And now let me set this up. This. When I closed all that stuff, when Brianna wanted the phone, I closed out a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, ta-ta to you, Senor Danny. <laughs> it has been a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. And I know, see, autocorrect wasn't friendly. Autocorrect's never friendly. I'm telling you, if I depended on autocorrect with you guys, I would be so disappointed. Because autocorrect fails every time. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I love you. Love you. Come on, bring it hugs. Oh, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And remember, this will be in the Wake the Hell Up playlist. So if you want to see past episodes or other funny stuff, just go on my YouTube in the past stuff. All right, because because all those videos are not private anymore. All the old stuff. It's all it's all you can see it. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, do I really want people to see this? But it's okay. All right, guys. I love you guys so much. Remember, be positive, tune out the negative. Don't forget to wear your mask or mask. And if anybody tells you, you go to a place and they're like, you got to put this one on, put this one over all of those masks. Okay. You'll be okay. Because as you see, this one's very loose on the side, so it won't mess up with your breathing at all. It's really just putting like a piece of paper over you. It's really crap. Um, all right, guys. But I love you. 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 Are you ready to see Bella? Because she's about to come right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> How did I turn the volume on and then not turn the volume on? It's beyond me. Oh, it didn't even make that noise anymore. Maybe the it's update. It's my morning show. Wake the hell up. Wake the hell up. Put your girl body Say you eat that. I need that flower in my hair. <laughs> Wake the hell up. Wake the hell up. The things that you want to hear. I hear my Bella's just being a brat. She doesn't want to come over here. Unfiltered. Brat. 
Most important, though, it's real. We will meet again. Wake the hell up with Tomorrow. Me, your girl Bonnie Mercado. Another day. I make radio real again. Right now I have it. Mainstream to underground. You gotta love. So make sure you tune in. No editing. And Just live. This is how we go. <laughs> and night bot, thank you. Oh, and the merchandise. Up there. Up there in the link. Get your beautiful Wake the Hell Up mask. Right in the link. Support, support our merch. All right, Bella, are you going to at least sign off? Bella. She just wants to be called. She can already hear her. Come here. Yes, here. Oh, you just have your pet? I'm only going to pet you if you come up. Come on. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. I'm going to pull your leg. I'm going to pull your legs. Come here. Yes. Say, ow. I guess I tortured my dog a little bit. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Mwah. Mwah.